Welcome to Collider Live, the weirdest show on the YouTube where anything can happen. And we talk about everything in this galaxy and the next, from Baby Yoda to Dr. Manhattan's most beautiful body part. I'm your host, Dorina, Dorina para mis hermanos hispanos. And oh. joining me today is Sammy. the beautiful producer, Mark Riley. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, es verdad. <laughs> Muchas gracias, y Dorina. De nada. Uh, also joining us, my favorite, the gorgeous Josh McCuga. Oh, allora, va bene. Uh, <laughs> si, eh, <laughs> para si. italiano? No, okay. 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 P- pizza? Uh, pizza, si, yeah, allora. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Also, <laughs> uh, my favorite mamacita is here to join us, Emma Fai. Emma Fai. Thank you, Sorina. Thank you all for having me. Thank you uh, for yeah. being here. That's... And last but not least, in the booth, the man, the myth, the legend, Daddy Cody. <laughs> Daddy. Uh, yeah. I don't know any other languages. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know the language of being a dad, dude. There we go. Yeah. We don't know that. Okay. No. So, no. You're none of us are dads. You're younger and smarter than us, apparently. I Burn. always think that, like, if you grow up in Southern California, like Cody did, if I wasn't fluent in Spanish, I'd be upset with myself. Like, I took German all the way through high school because mm. there was like one Spanish-speaking person in Pittsburgh. <laughs> right there. We didn't have like there. I mean, I'm sure there are more now. Yeah. But not. But back a ton in the of day. German. But, not yeah. when we were kids. Yeah. <laughs> but Bayer, the Bayer Corporation, their internet, their international headquarters, their U.S. headquarters is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm. So we had a lot of uh. Germans. And so we sp- and the uh, bear Germans? bear sponsored us uh, like a scholarship and a and a um, an exchange through our high school. Mm. So um, we went to the town in Germany. It's called Leverkusen. Where, where I grew up in Connecticut, we had more Brazilians than anything else. So it really would have behooved me to learn Portuguese. Portuguese, oh, yeah. 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 And yeah. that's and that's kind of a combination of French and Spanish, yeah. right? Well, and so. we we offered French and Spanish. Totally. I, took French because I thought it sounded more <laughs> romantic or something. I don't know. Uh, do, you, do you know a little bit? Je vais uh, say croissant, so chocolat, yeah. s'il vous plaît. Uh, yeah. You're like, nope. And <laughs> she just completely know. thought that well, that was so not good, Well, it's funny, too, because, like, no, but, because, like, Josh was talking about uh, taking German, and it was funny because I was living in Germany when I was studying abroad for a little while in college, yeah. and that was the first time that I felt like French was really clicking for me because I would try to think of how to say something in German and would just start thinking in French. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, 100%. Think about my life every day. Yeah. Where yeah. I'm, constantly like, think, I'm thinking in Spanish right, right now, yeah. and it's very confusing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. There you go. But Emma, is this your first time here? It is my first time <gasps> Holy here. Shit. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> shit. My God. Hey. See? Hey. I know. Ridiculous. That's crazy. How what? have you not been here? It's because we're inviting you because we're cool. That's true. Yeah. 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 Yes. It was meant to be then yeah. today because you were yes. here for movie I was. talk. I was here for movie talk. I was going to stay anyway because we got, yeah. we're filming Collider Jedi Council right after this, basically. So. Which you guys are doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Thank you. On, so. uh, we're and having we, a lot of fun. And we also uh, are having a special guest at, at 1130 oh, showing yes, up so and I joining hear. us. Yes. That's, John Cena. Oh, it is. Course. John Cena. Yes. John Cena. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's about time. Yeah, you know, we've been promoting him I all know, this we talk fucking time. Every John fucking Cena. day we talk about him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there he is. We get it, John. Every morning I do the uh, Jeopardy J6 on the Alexa, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, hey, Alexa, play Jeopardy. Yes. And you answer like the extra questions, right? So the one question this morning was like, who is the host of the new incantation or like the continuation of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader on Nickelodeon? And I just scream, John Cena! <laughs> and, and Amanda comes running and says, like, what's wrong? Like, oh, no, it's just uh, a... <laughs> just, just, isn't that, that's the thing. If you come on the show more, <laughs> Emma, you will notice that because of the sound bites, you yeah. just end up hearing them mm-hmm. every day. Everywhere like, when like, you walk around. Oh, yeah. Well, I, the, you brought up Alexa. So I just got smart light bulbs. Uh, uh, so I now oh, can I have Alexa turn on and off my mm-hmm. lights. And truly, I was Changes. living... In the dark ages yep. before this. Do you have the color ones though? Because no, those are I amazing. Don't have the where ones. you get I, like the romantic lighting ooh. and the blues and I, the yellows. I looked yeah. at some colored ones. I think that's gonna be my next edition. And also I want an Alexa for every room of my house so I never have to turn on a lamp physically it's, again. Are you, it's are changed you my worried life. though yeah. that they're listening to you? Yes, they're they're listening I know to all listening, of us. But I sort of like my Alexa. Like this morning I was like, Good morning, Alexa, and Alexa goes, Good morning. Did you know it's International Ninja Day? Oh. That one really snuck up on me. Oh. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Alexa, oh, Alexa. you're so cool. That's the greatest. But see, so now yes. you feel like you, instead of an imaginary friend in your house, you have, have a real a, one. I have a robot friend. Yeah, yeah. There you go. But yeah. also, like the flip side of Alexa, not that she's listening, <laughs> is that like sometimes our Alexa doesn't work, and man's like, stupid bitch. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh yeah. But that's why you guys have to be nice. Yeah, we all nice have to Alexa. be nice to all of our robots. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. No. Do not trust robots. I tweeted about it yesterday. The one <laughs> thing that. about the I Mandalorian and I what is happened? that we both don't like robots. He yeah. doesn't like right. droids. I don't like robots. We've learned movie after movie, TV show after TV show that you don't trust the robots. Except weirdly in Star Wars, the robots for the most part are pretty good and yeah. you can trust they them. Are. Listen, George the Lucas has been hunters, pulling the wool yeah. over our eyes for years. He's been trying us to make us trust droids. Gold one, a little one that's a tin can. We're supposed <laughs> to love them. They're supposed to be adorable. But eventually, something's going to happen in Rise of Skywalker where they erase a C-3PO's memory or they have to kill him or something and he's going to come back as an evil droid and that droid is going to turn on you and eventually all the droids will turn on you because we messed up and we trusted the robots, Darina. You're, and here you're we not thought wrong. That, and I, here we thought the C-3PO was just a cock blocker. Yeah. <laughs> Which he, he is, is, to be fair. <laughs> to but be he's fair. programmed like was, that. And admittedly, I did a Star Wars RPG show for a number of years over at Hyper RPG Thanks and we invite. sort of <laughs> had a... You're welcome, Makuga. As it took me a year and a half to do one <laughs> Something ain't matching uh, up here. No, no, no. But what I was going to say is, you know what? It was kind of a bat. There was a, a droid uprising element to it. So, Makuga, you might be honest with something. There you go. It's happening. You're, you, we are you all, all writing the stories right now yeah. of our dystopian future that's actually going to happen. <laughs> so, it's yeah. okay. You know what? Death by robot, it could be worse. Okay, yeah, they're really right. about it. Yeah. And it will start with Alexa. Oh, for sure. It for sure will. Yeah, it's, it's li- she it's is a, listening. It's a Skynet situation. It really is. No, she, like, uh, if all I the time I want to be turned stops. into a Terminator. <laughs> I guess. Guarantee you, people listening right now, we have turned on their Alexa in their kitchen. A bunch yes. of them, oh, yeah. or wherever they listen. Yeah, they're I mean, all, they're getting well, more getting more collider live Even, bots. Yeah. even so, getting ready for movie talk, Perry, uh, Perry said the word series, and then my, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. assistant you? on my I iPhone. I hate Google uh, turns on all the time, and it <laughs> freaks me out. I yeah. don't like it. I don't like people listening to me or hey, watching Siri. me. Stop watching. I'm kidding. Well, here, here's one thing. We've just talked about like five or six different things. I guarantee you, when you open up your Instagram, you will be advertised at least two of the six things we've just yeah, been talking definitely. about. Yeah, definitely. That's it. Yep, there you go. There it is. Yeah, my, yep. uh, my Siri is. Uh... Oh, there she is. What? Ask her a question. Siri. When no, is the robot uprising? Uh, hold on. <laughs> she doesn't wow. like you. She doesn't when is like the you robot either. uprising? Oh, I forgot to wear black Siri or uh, uh, heroes villains today. No, no, now it's just going. that's the jacket I like. See, Isn't now it's, it's now awesome. it's telling the other robots yeah, to so watch now for Siri Mark is saying, When is the robot uprising? I forgot to wear a black suit. Arrive at now, and I was just going to Jack, and I like the other robot. Yes or now? <laughs> Siri is saying, "When is the robot uprising?" I forgot to wear a black suit. Arrive at now, and I j- okay. This is fucked. It's just we it's text fucked. it's text to talking because I don't like it. The, the, the I forgot to wear a black suit was was Makuga. Yeah, yeah. But it's then really still going. I have a everyone. question though. Mm-hmm. What if and Josh isn't gonna like this question, Uh-oh. but what if we're all already robots? <gasps> oh I, have what? you thought about that? Yeah, I, I, when you take an edible, have you thought about that, uh, Josh? Uh, no, but I have yeah, I might have thought about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that's why I don't you, do it uh, often. Here's the thing: is I can't take any kind of uh, you know weed edibles, any kind of those drugs. Yes, stuff, yeah. unless I'm already <laughs> sort of intoxicated. Because mm-hmm. if I'm like taking it sober, forget about it. I'm out in the middle of the driveway, looking up at the sky, being like, eventually this thing is all going to be on fire. <laughs> Wrong. And we're I'm all dead. through space. <laughs> yes. Right? Help. Like, what yes. about in 10 million years? Because 10 million years ago, some random dinosaur was just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> 10 million years later, we're sitting here on microphones and some dinosaur is just covered in mud. And he never thought that he was going to be gone. But here we are. 10 million years from now, some kid's going to be like, I wonder what they did back in the day. And you find Makuga <laughs> in the Big Bang and he's just stuck oh in bones. You're an amber and we and we, yeah, and, we, and we clone you, and yep. there it is. That's I really it. hope they do find you like that, where he actually looks like the alien xenomorph in the first Alien, and he looks yeah. like he's do- like he shows up and he looks like he's doing jazz hands. Yeah. Well, it's like, have <laughs> you seen have you seen uh, like the the people in Pompeii that were oh, you know, frozen yeah. in time mm-hmm. by the lava? Yeah. They're yep. all like, yeah. Oh, it's, yep. all, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It, it really is a, a like out of body experience it when is. you go there and you see it. You're like, oh. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. What, horror movie. But that, the thing, like, would you guys rather, yeah. since we we're playing a would you rather <laughs> yeah. game yesterday, yeah. I don't know if you heard Emma, but uh, Mark came up with a game where we would pick would you rather do this or watch Baby Yoda die? Yeah. It's kind <gasps> of, which is very, it was it's kind very, of the worst game difficult. ever. And I've said, I said yesterday, uh, because I just watched the final episode of The Mandalorian, mm-hmm. like the fourth one, that mm-hmm. was not the final, obviously. I finally caught up. I didn't get Disney Plus when I was on the road, whatever. Watched Mandalorian, and I said I didn't know that I could love a little creature as much same. as I love this baby Yoda. I, and if same. they kill you him at the, the end, entire of, world. if they end the Mandalorian and he's dead, I'm done with Star Wars. I'm out. I don't care what they do in the future. I don't care if they make a bad boys Star Wars crossover. <laughs> we'll not watch it. Uh, 
you know, somebody I, I wow. noticed on Twitter, I, Star I Boys. just was kind of scrolling through. Somebody said something to the effect of, it's a good thing that uh, Mandalorian is on Disney Plus and not on HBO. Otherwise, oh, exactly. uh, Baby Yoda, done. Gone. Like, Might be gone. Oh, yeah. There, there'd be incest in mm-hmm. Mandalorian. There would, t- Baby Yoda would totally die a horrible death. A horrible, horrible death. Yeah. I mean, that helmet already cool and banged watch. that woman in the pond. I mean, like, I mean yeah. for yeah. sure. He might have just left the helmet on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> weird. It. And you know there's some weird Mandalorian roleplay shit going on right now. <laughs> it's been four weeks, guys. Uh, I guarantee are you this ta- is the did way. Did you just say now? Because it's been going on, Josh. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. It has been but going on. Have you guys ever, escalated. Like, when you go to Comic-Con, the, the first few years I went, like, mm. a decade ago. I don't even know. When I was going oh, as a fan. Oh, cool, Doreen. When I was, was going, it like back then? Was no, cool when I was, because oh, I, I was calling God, myself old. <laughs> I was calling myself old. No, but when I would go as a fan, because now I'm going for work. Yeah. Oh. Thank Ooh, you, Cody. Get that. Thank you, Cody. You get the wah wah. I'm Jeez. calling you daddy this morning. You're yeah. giving me shit already. Yeah. He's sassy, Cody. I, I know, like it when sassy he's sassy. Cody. It's because he's tired because we're all tired. Yeah. But my point is that I did not know that they actually <laughs> <laughs> that they actually had furry tables. Like they uh-huh. like, oh, yeah. like if you go upstairs and they have like sections for that. Did you, did you know that? I didn't. There you go. Yeah. yeah no. So yeah, that's that's what's going on for a while. I guess you missed the look between McCougan and I. We were like. I think I've told this story on here before. Maybe you weren't in the room because you might you might get it. But like so, are you a furry? No, uh, but they do. The largest furry convention in the world is held in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Nah. There you go, nailed it. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty what? easy. What if Makuka had been like, no, it was surprisingly, it's uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? It's like, wait a minute, stupid idiots. Um, no, Makuga, my, that's when Makuga is a robot. <laughs> my favorite Reddit like insult me. I was telling uh, Emma that they had to do a background check on, on me for yes. the show that I'm working on. And I didn't know that I, people on Reddit hated me so much because I never go on Reddit. I had no idea. And one of the Reddit threats or uh, angry things was, all right, Makugo, we get it. You like bad boys? You're from Pittsburgh. You want to be the host of Jeopardy. Just get the fuck out of here. Like, all right. Good, good, good. Aww. But so there is this uh, like costume store. It's on Venice Boulevard and like... Right before Venice Beach High. Robinson's Utilities. Thank you. Yeah. Beauty. Halloween Nailed nerd. it. Nailed yeah. it. Okay. Jesus. So. I know. This was like right around Easter. And this was back in the day we were shooting casual mafia sketches. And so we had to go to this place to find some costumes for this sketch. We were going to do this like colonial America sketch where, anyway, it was stupid. Uh, <laughs> it, never, it never I love aired. we didn't get I believe it was so colonial I, America. It never aired because we couldn't afford all these colonial America <laughs> costumes, right? Uh, yeah, but right. So there yeah. was this couple. And, you know. <laughs> Little 26 year old Josh McCuga didn't know what a furry really was oh, at this no. point. I had no idea. And so there's this couple, and they're looking at these like rabbit heads. And I was like, uh-huh. Oh, you guys dressed up for Easter? And the, guy looked, <laughs> and the guy looked at me real serious and goes, Nope. <laughs> and I was like, And then I started doing the math, and I was like, Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. I also do you are you dressing up for Easter? Like that's a thing people do. <laughs> but wait, they I were renting this... though, because that's a rental place. Oh, that's a rental so place. That's, that's the weird part. No for shit. Me. I think that that's... now, like the, the down, the down payment or the deposit <laughs> on furry costumes at Utilities has got to be like a thousand dollars. Oh my guys. god! Did I? Just... No. But and then I mean, those masks are pretty freaky. Yeah, like, they are like the freaky. funny masks. Like, uh, like it happened to me when one of my Comic Con years, I was wearing a Nathan Hamill did this hoodie mm. for one of his toy designs. That's like a little raccoon, a oh. or is a raccoon. And so my hoodie had ears and a tail. Uh-oh. And this guy Uh-oh. comes up to me and he's wearing like a grumpy cat mask. Oh my god! With with a tail, and he's just like. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take out my hoodie, and I'm like, sup, later. Is that not the that initial she, sign no. for no. Not no. that I judge people's kinks. No. I am no, not, not kink shaming. All. I'm just not into it. Yeah. So like, yeah. As the cabbie once told me in Pittsburgh, he's like, oh, the furry convention's in town. Are you guys in town for that? And my brother and I were like, no, we live here. And he's like, he's like, I honestly don't mind them. They tip pretty well. I haven't had any rabbits <laughs> banging in my cab. And I was like, all right. I mean, it is probably <laughs> one of the the like purest it's, forms it's, of. Yeah. It's, it's just sex as human animals. Yeah. And we're all, we Tell are us. already animals. Mark, what's, what, what are you thinking? <laughs> How do you how do you feel about? Her? I was just thinking of it. I, I like. Are I you literally thinking about that you want to try? No, no, <laughs> no. It's 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 it. way past my kink zone. I no. couldn't I couldn't go there. Uh, don't no. Do not. Do but you age. want me to be a furry? No, no. You should no. do what you want, but don't like age yourself. Like you can do oh, yeah. anything, any kink you want at any age. Oh yeah, I I 
Believe me. <laughs> well, I will. But uh, for eight, no. No. It just started going in my head. And the first thing that popped in my head was that uh, little quick shot we see through the room in The Shining. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, for furry. sure. That, furry, the bear? Uh, furry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a furry oh, thing definitely. going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you saw Shining. But I don't think you remember that. I don't t- you I don't probably blocked it out. Yeah, of because mind. it was you know, like because of the horror elements yeah. and whatnot. I, I was gonna you know. say Macuga probably yeah, watched it no, just yeah, like. Totally. Yeah. Wait, Cody, how do you feel about furries? Not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> but but you don't. I mean, not a fan yeah. as in like you don't judge. You're, not, you're just not gonna like that. get it's into it. I get it. I get it. You're not gonna tell us about your thing. No, I don't really have. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't really paying attention the last two minutes, guys. What were you thinking about? No, I was assembling some links for later in the show, and Mm -hmm. I was was just prepping while doing the show. Just working hard as always, Cody. Best in the business. That's my thing. Definitely. I gotta um, say say, real quick. I'm sorry. Oh, of course. Uh, Yesterday, Cody uh, crushed it on rumor mill. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah. 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 Him, him, like replacing me as host of that show makes me so very happy because I had so much fun being a guest on the show yesterday. <laughs> it was me, Jeff Snyder, and Cobster. And Jeff Snyder started a sentence with, "So I was at this Hobbit orgy, and that's when like the entire world lost it because it was a joke. It started as it was a joke." Right, right, right. Was Cody, fantastic. was it not a great episode? Yeah, I, I when Jeff said that, I had to like be, like just take a second and take a seat <laughs> on the set. Be like, oh my god, Jeff, dude, yeah. it was a great episode. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I I've never heard Adam Smith laugh so much because he was in the booth and mm. he was. He had the jolliest laugh, like just so loud. I he he very much enjoyed it, like yeah. everybody else watching. So you guys should check out Rumor Mill because it was it was great. Yeah, yeah. It was really so good. Good job, guys. Way to go, Cody. Yeah. Way to go. All on you. I can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Emma, I noticed yes. you have a cool jacket. I do, mm-hmm. as a matter of fact. Uh, this is a Mandalorian jacket. Mm-hmm. It is part of the Warriors of Mandalore collection from our sponsor, Heroes hey. and Villains. Hey. So, <laughs> exactly. So Heroes and Villains, guys, we've been talking about them because I only like promoting things that I like to wear. because uh, I don't like I don't like to lie about stuff that I don't yeah. that yeah. I don't like. And I love this stuff. I this Batman Joker like man who That's like right Batman who alley. laughs the it, shirt yeah. is amazing it's beautiful it's comfortable if you want to get more of that there's actually a really cool sale going on today on heroesvillains.com it is uh 25% off which is a lot oh. and then if you guys want to help us win the office tournament of death yeah. Ooh, you can also tournament of death. Uh-huh. You Emma can, Fife is yes. she's on another team. I, I am on she's, another she's team. Jedi so Council. we're all competing against Emma Uh-oh. and the Jedi Council and Movie Talk. But if you want Collider Life to win, you can use a code Life Ten, and you get an additional ten percent off. Yeah. So that's pretty Four. cool. Emma's like, no, or do mine. You could use Jedi no. Ten. Oh, wow. You could also use Rule no. Ten for Ruler no. Two. I'm kind of like blocking that line. Ten. Life you could ten. also use Josh 10, and that doesn't exist. <laughs> and that doesn't do anything. <laughs> but especially today for Batman and Joker stuff, yes. the 25% off is a great deal, and it kind of goes into all the... We're going to talk about the Snyder Cut stuff so everybody can get all excited about the DC <laughs> stuff. I know. There it is. <laughs> That's a really cool Joker shirt. Yeah, I got too. the Joker action going today. Okay, yeah, I like that one Batman and Joker stuff. These I are mean, the kind of on. shirts that I would see, like, you guys walking down the hall in, like, 8th, 7th, 8th grade and be like, those people are not my friends. <laughs> can you believe that this is, like... You're, were you a bully, Josh? Bully? Yeah. No, I'm scared of everything. Oh, oh yeah, he's scared. No, I didn't know I if you were I like, oh, no, those you're nerds right, aren't my no, friends. No, I didn't no, know. no, 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 no. Because no, no, I was like, you don't seem like a bully. That so, shirt uh-uh. is terrifying, and that one is also... Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> See, what's that's happening? That's scary. No, what's yes. happening here is I, I I see where Josh McCook is coming from. Not that I would have been him. I would have been your friend. Right. But I, but him to look at that, it's that sort of misconception I think that a lot of people had of goth kids. You know what I mean? Like right, I think right. that there's this misconception of of goth kids that sure. they are that. like. <laughs> cold-hearted like, and dark and mean, but really... Why do you think my name's like, Evil Doreen on Twitter? Yeah. Because my old roommate, like, years ago, like, 10 years ago or more, actually uh, called me that. Because yeah. because we're, we're evil, because we're, you know, kind of emo, and, like... But we're just we're just pissed off as, like, everybody else at yeah. the world, or, or, like, we're sad about it. Sure. And this is just our way to... Expressing it. Exactly. Yeah. But, but we're not actually going out there and being evil. No. We're just... Uh, you know, watching horror movies mm-hmm. and 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 listening yeah. to emo music yeah. to to, to, to get catharsis. Yeah, if that makes sense. But you're you're not really goth though, according to YouTube. No, 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 because I yeah. don't actually uh, suck real blood. Right, any, right, anymore. right, right, I, right, I, I quit right, that. Right. That was see, that was years ago. It. But you've been yes. working on that yeah. with yes. the, with the drinking blood. Well, because you know we've been talking about menstrual the, cups. Yeah, in the cups. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that, so which that Emma? What's yes. your input on that? Okay, Cody really wants to hear about this. 
So let me tell you uh, my input on this. Here is, we go. Is I am I am pro menstrual cups because yes. it is better for the environment. I uh, have. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I yeah. hope Roxy Stryer is listening. Yeah, it's way she, better for the environment. Me. Yeah. Isn't it? But it's also better for your vagina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I... Um, Josh, you uh, know that? Yeah. I'm actually a big fan of those, like, uh, panties that they make that have the lining for, you know, absor- <laughs> absorbing the blood. I haven't so used really, those. They're great. Okay. Yeah, they work really, really but well. But don't they? But the thing about it's like pads. There's like all the blood and stuff. No, but it's it, I don't the, like it. Whatever the material is that they make it out of, it's like this double layered absorbent kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, and, you, know, you know what? Somebody in the comments, a dude, I loved him when we were talking about this. Said if guys had their periods, they'd be talking about it all, all the time. All the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we, yeah. we'd be talking yes about no. it and we'd no. be bitching and moaning totally. probably oh like, my god yeah. or, I mean it's like yeah I, have, I currently have a menstrual there's cup a, inside me there's a reason there that women go. have periods and not men <laughs> <laughs> there you go threshold for pain very very Much. low oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you okay there Josh Much higher Cody I'm not a, uh, it's not gonna work for me I, menstrual I, cups yeah there's no menstrual cups it's, I don't, here on the outline I like but you guys I get, I understand I get I understand huh you, you know it fits. I, okay. <laughs> well said, Emma. Well said. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, live 10 at cool. checkout. Like, and, you, uh, like you have left Josh I, Makuga I speechless, out for Emma. A <laughs> well done. Yeah. That just happened. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda later for you, Josh. How was your last uh, Collider Live for a while? Yeah, yeah. Did you miss us? <laughs> Apparently, it fits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should have him. We should have him be the spokesperson oh. for the diva cup. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Hi, welcome to menstrual cup <laughs> with Josh Makuga. Apparently, there's a cup. Uh, back to you in the studio. Oh, <laughs> we won't explain the details of how it works. Uh, if you guys want the details, go to uh, Josh's uncomfortable dot biz because dot com was taken. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, so I, speechless, huh? No, yeah, nothing. Nothing uh, to add. No there's story. A, there's a panty. No, no, pit, a, no Pittsburgh mm-hmm. period story. No, nothing. Nothing uh, you got there yeah, for us. I, no? Uh, no. You know, I've I've always been uncomfortable with the word tampon. Mm-hmm. Never really okay, liked that why, word. Okay, but why why are guys so uncomfortable mm-hmm. with period blood when you guys like us love having sex? Um, yeah. Like yeah. it's like, don't you guys well, love vagina? Yeah, yes. of course. Yeah, so yeah. then, no, I, I mean, you know, listen, it's it depends. There's right? something I've never been a fan of blood in general. Well, like, that, that checks out for a That's true. Yeah. Like I don't like horror movies. I don't like slashers. I don't like seeing blood. Did you faint as a kid ever because you bled? Blood? <laughs> I don't. I I never fainted, but one time I like smashed my head in a pool, and like blood was streaming down my face. And my brother looked at me. He goes, "I can see your skull." <laughs> <And> he ran. <laughs> And so I ran to see the bathroom. Like, there's blood everywhere. And that's when I was like, ugh, feel so good. And yeah. Then, uh, yeah. But I think that might have been blood loss and also a major concussion. So I, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. I saw somebody yeah. faint, like, because I, I got punched during West Side Story and it just blood oh, everywhere. Yeah. Oh, you mean you got, like, punched for real? During the rumble. By accident. During, by yeah. accident, got punched. Broke my nose on stage during a live performance, yeah. Damn. and the Dang. blood, and it was right at at, at uh, intermission, right? right? So ran perfect. off after the rumble. It was perfect because you're I like I was my... just snapping my fingers, man. Why the, you punch me? The nurse popped it right back into place, oh, but there was so hurts. much blood. One of the uh, like sharks, yeah. like one of the the ensemble members. Like, <laughs> it just Aww. went back and there was like the nurse was with me one nurse yeah. I mean it's like community theater one nurse went oh shit and ran to that guy and I'm like uh, am I done here? Yeah. Oh my so god I could, bleed a lot though too yeah. like any, any I couldn't head believe. Oh, yeah. kind of stuff I couldn't yeah, believe no, I have a, how much blood it was yeah. I have a scar here on my on my uh, eyebrow mm-hmm. because and it was like a tiny little thing that like like opened up and then my entire face was covered in blood and my mom yeah. almost had a heart attack I, yeah. had, I had to calm her down as a child because I was full of blood I've had over a hundred stitches and staples in my body. I yeah. believe it. Different, yeah. you know, scars and injuries. That's not and I, uh, shocking at all. My <laughs> first set of stitches that I ever got, I fell. Okay, so at the mall that I went to growing up, the Danbury Fair Mall in I was Danbury, Connecticut. Say, you better name the mall. You can't just start the Danbury mall Fair Mall, <laughs> South Hills Village, uh, which was the uh, largest mall in the state of Connecticut. Whoa, yeah, big time! What up? So big time! Live they, 10. they had a carousel and a fountain. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! Yeah, well, shit. we had a peacock in our mall for oh, a while. Wow, no big we didn't deal. have anyway, a mall. Uh, <laughs> At this later. mall, um, <laughs> so, 
in the food court for a while, they put in these like fancy chairs that oh, yeah, were like yeah, fancy yeah. looking, but they were kind of uneven. Okay. So they were kind of tippy. And of course, I'm like three, so mm. it's fun to me to rock back and of forth course. in these chairs. I fell backwards oh, and put my teeth through my bottom lip. Oh, oh God. Yep. Oh, that's a bad oh one. man, that's yep. a badass I one. I only have a vague memory of laying on the ground and going, Something feels wrong, like with the bottom <laughs> of my mouth, and then being in the hospital, being stitched up, just being like, I don't know what's happening. Again, I was about three. Yeah, so. Oh my god! Yeah. Damn, that's why you're a badass because mm-hmm. you had early trauma, like yep. all of us. Cody, yep. do you have any crazy stitch mm-hmm. stories or blood stories? I ever tell you guys when I got hit in the head with a golf ball? No, <laughs> no. go on. All right, I think I've told it on some shows before, but I was in high school. It was like my senior year, and we had one of those uh, water balloon launchers. Oh, you guys yeah. are oh I know it's those. A giant rubber band. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if you ever seen that clip. I think it's from the Amazing Race when the the girl pulls the thing back with a watermelon. Oh in yeah, it, I love that. And gift. it comes back and hits her in the face. Yes. That happened to me with a golf ball. Oh and my <gasps> god, blood went pouring down my <gasps> face. I got a picture somewhere. I could find it. Oh, please. Where did it hit you? Yeah. Where in the face did it hit you? Uh, luckily, it got me, like, it skimmed my forehead. Oh, oh wow. Like, if it hit your eye, though, that would have yeah, sucked. Yeah, that would have been, that would have sucked. Lights I do out. have a slight scar uh, oh that's hit God. mostly by my hair. Okay, nice. you gotta yeah. bring that photo, Cody. Please. Yeah, give me a second. I have a little scar on my bottom lip. Like I can, I, I can mostly just feel it on the inside where the stitches were. Do you guys know where I have a scar on my boob? Like <laughs> not like on my nipple, but like here because of uh, fireworks, which makes sense. Um, like, fireworks Mex- hammer. Yeah, Mexico. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah that's exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, well, uh, it wasn't the happened? hammer though. It was just fire. Regular fireworks. It just blew just up right here. Just one of them fell on me because yeah. we were kids and we we're playing yeah. with fireworks. Yes. We're dumb. I have one and under they're, my. And they're legal there. So yeah. Cody, similar kind of a situation. I have a scar. I think it's under this. I think it actually this eye. My brother and I were just messing around one day. There was these local kids that were uh, bashing mailboxes in our neighborhood, right? And so yeah. my brother was like, if they come back Completely tonight. Completely normal. Yeah, we're <laughs> man, oh, suburbs. Yeah. Yeah. No, we I mean, that. it stays we confused. Yeah. 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 And so uh, my brother's like, if they come back tonight, we're going to take them out. He's like, you know what we can do? We can hit rocks with tennis rackets at them. I was like, good idea. <laughs> and so I'm in the, <laughs> no, I'm in the yard and my brother just like, whack, hits a rock and it's just like, shh. <laughs> and hits me right in the eye, like right here. And I was like, ah! and then blood starts going down. My brother's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I was like in the fourth grade and he was in the sixth grade. And he just like runs into the house. And my mom's like, what happened? He's like, Josh fell. Aww, <laughs> Josh, fell. Josh fell. God. We're so dumb as yeah. humans, especially I, young. I, you know, when I was a kid in, you know, the 90s. Yeah, uh, the best. And rollerblading was at its height. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. So I was a very confident rollerblader. Uh, I got a little. Really? Oh yeah, I, I'm both. actually still quite good at rollerblading. Can you um, teach me, guys? Yeah. Oh! Holy oh, shit, Cody. Cody! Holy crap, Cody! For the yeah, for that's the what then. for the Dude, listeners, Josh. please go on YouTube and check this episode <laughs> out specifically for Cody. This is why I don't like Spoto. idiot blood. Holy shit! Yeah, that's Dang, what, that's what my menstrual cup looks like right now. My favorite is that Cody is like <laughs> looks happy. Oh, I was out of it. Oh, were you? Yeah, I were wanted you? to go to the hospital, but my friends were like, no, don't do that. And so <laughs> so we let's take pictures. Out. We, we rinsed my head out with a hose. Oh, my God. <laughs> were then, you just, uh, like, not in it? Like, like, did you, had you taken something, or why no, do you look so no, happy? No, that was about, like, ten minutes after it happened. It didn't really hurt too much, okay. remarkably. You were in shock. Just, like, I was like, what the hell is happening? Look at this shit. Wow, man. Yeah. Cody, God. that's in, like in that a picture, horror movie. how old are you? That's my 2009 versus 2019 meme photo. Because <laughs> <laughs> you haven't aged a bit. Yeah. You're insane. That's, that's me rocking some emo hair right there. Yeah. I love it. Oh, oh yeah, God. all pushed forward. Well, uh-huh. thank you for finding that, yes. Cody. That's no. lovely. Um, uh, we're but... actually going to go to break for a little bit, you guys. But we are going to come back with some news. Don't worry. We're going to let's get down to business oh, because yeah. I'm very excited to talk about oh. Mulan. We're going to talk about Snyder Cut because it's never going to be over. So stick around. We'll be back. on a mountain yeah. in a hot tub. I love being drunk, being drunk, being drunk, being drunk, being drunk, being drunk. David Johnson. Guys. 
That's an illusion. Fuck yeah. Hey everyone, this is John Roca. 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 Eighth. Nine. Eight. Nine. Oh yes, out. Oh yes, out. Oh oh yeah. Oh yes, out. No God! No God! Please no! 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 And to tomorrow is finally getting a fucking sequel. And to tomorrow. And to tomorrow. And to tomorrow is finally getting a fucking sequel. We are back on Collider Live. Boom. Thank you for joining us. The lovely Emma is here. I'm so happy it's her debut. And Josh and Mark and Cody, we're all here. Uh, Miss and Roxy, uh, hopefully uh, you can convince her of our little conversation earlier, Emma, because she's not pro-menstrual. All right. But anyways, (laughs) enough of vagina talk. Um, We actually have some nerd news to go over. And we actually, for once, we are all very excited. So, Mark. Let's get down to business. Yeah, come on, sing it, Josh. To defeat. Yes, business. He's got it. To defeat the hunters. The hunters. <laughs> Did they send me daughter? Daughter. When I asked for sons. So You're good. the saddest lot Do it. I've ever Holy met. Holy shit. And you can bet before we're through. <laughs> Mr. I'll make, make a man out of you. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> Be a man. I don't know. Swift death. Just because I scream at blood and scary things? 
<laughs> so I think you're just. I think no. you're just the only man in that that vicinity yeah. of the point. Oh, got no. it, got so it. yeah. No, but anyways, because you didn't watch Mulan, right? I have never seen it. Yeah, but uh, but you liked the trailer. Exactly. I will say this. I got emotional during this trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Like That's I weird. really liked. This trailer, <laughs> and I know what the world's gonna say. It's like, oh, you didn't like James Bond, but you like Mulan. Okay, listen, James Bond was the same thing I've seen 450 times. This Mulan thing is awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, it looks like a cross between uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, mm-hmm. Last Samurai without Tom Cruise. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, do you ever see that Jet Li movie where he's like the yes, one? Super, the one. The one? Yeah. Yes. It looks like a um, huge mix between all of that. Jet Li is in this movie. Uh, is he? Uh, Jet Li is in this movie. Shut yes. the fuck up. He's the Emperor of China. <gasps> yeah. And Donnie Yen is, yeah. uh, is in it as well. Uh, Jason Scott Lee. Uh, uh, who was uh, Mowgli in the OG live action Jungle Book? Exactly. So God damn, the man. guy that plays the evil Hun, I think, who's talking about the witch. What's mm. that that actor's name? Because uh, he was in Banshee. Yes, he Banshee. is in Banshee. Gong Lee. Yeah. Yes, Gong oh, Lee. Okay. That's yeah. exactly correct. That's okay. And he is awesome in Banshee. He plays like this flamboyant, bald, gay um, uh, the computer hacker. Yeah. Okay. And he's awesome in Banshee. And when I saw him there, I was like, yes. Yeah. What a cast, man. And that's the thing for me. Like I, you guys know me. Like I hate everything. I'm such a movie snob sometimes that I have not been enjoying most of the Disney live action remakes. I, I'm in the and same boat. Like as you. some yeah. of them are I'm fine. You. And, yeah. and there's there's things to like My about them, but Cinderella. I just don't care. I, I agree. Cinderella's and, and, the the best because I felt like it actually d- did something different right. from the movie that Is we that knew. The one right. with the girl from Downton Abbey. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, Lily yeah, yeah. something. Uh, Lily. James. Lily. J- 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 Lady. No. Yeah. Is it Lily James. Yeah. Yeah. No. Lily no. James. No, because Lily James it was the one in the. Is it Lily James? Is it Mamma Mia Phil- Girl? No. It's not Phil Collins. Yeah, she was in Mamma Mia. Yeah, so is that so what it is. Like, it is like, I think okay. it's her name. But anyway, she's very pretty and she sings to really well. To the internet. Yes, but, um, look it up. But yeah, no, so they haven't been as, as great or I haven't Willie found... James. Willie yeah. James, okay. Don't you guys feel like there's been no real need out of, uh, to, to make any of yes. these? And this is the first one that like I saw the trailer exactly like Josh said. Like just, I was like, am I getting emotional over a yeah. trailer I that, was, I don't, that I didn't think I cared about? I, it's, it looks epic. It looks completely different than the original. Not that the original is great. The original is amazing. But you can't have like a cartoon right. be the same thing as well, like James, a live action. Just, yeah, and yeah. here's the thing: is the they original? Just it or... it's, <laughs> I, I blacked out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. like, he literally just <laughs> so. I love the Real animated Mulan. I do. James. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, okay. thanks, Cody. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can somebody, can you look thanks. out there in the office and see? <laughs> <laughs> can yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Hey, is it Lily James? Lily James? Should we ask? Should we open the door and just yell? It's not a big deal. But Emma, please. No, I love. I love animated Mulan. I do. Uh. I am excited to see something else. Like, I remember at the time that live action Beauty and the Beast was coming out, Mm -hmm. and there is this absolutely bananas French film of Beauty and the Beast because, again, you're drawing from a fairy tale, so why not do something different? Are you talking about the Vincent Cassell one? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's bananas. What happens? Tell me everything. Oh, it's just like. The not what you would picture. Not what you would picture. Uh, it's yeah. not. Yeah. It is not. Uh, well, it is not, not Disney. Movie. Not yeah. Disney at all. Definitely okay. not. Yeah. Um, but is, it's beautiful. The mm-hmm. costume like design people. is out of control. Okay. Um, anyway. Ish. <laughs> no, he's but, banging. So is it furry stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it all comes full circle. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, but with Mulan, it looks like they are going okay. Let's go back to the Ballad of Mulan. Let's go back to the mm-hmm. source material and let's just look at stories told in Asian dramas and just bring that to a Disney film mm-hmm. and bring in all of these great Asian actors, a lot of whom are actually Chinese. Mm. And it is a Chinese story, which is amazing. Right. Um, yeah, it, and just like bringing all of that to this film that looks like it is, it, it looks like a historical drama yeah. with, with fantastical elements mm-hmm. because. I am here for that witch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing nails? because because imagine, I mean, people were like, where's Mushu, right? The little Eddie Murphy dragon. I'm like, he's super cute and cool, yeah, and, right. and cool in, the, in the animated, but to bring that type of, those types of elements to live action sometimes don't work yeah. or, or they or they make the story maybe not as serious. I don't know. Like, that's my preference. I feel like this looks more like an epic, like, war drama. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and, and that's that's what they should be doing with all these live actions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, Thanks. And I definitely like the, I because I love the original Me and too. I love Eddie Murphy as Mushu, but yeah. I love that the kind of updated, but 
added some of the mythical and magic. Yeah. Like, so I dug the sorceress that Is turns Mushu into the something. phoenix. He, the Mushu no. was the dragon. Oh, uh, a the, dragon. Like, the yeah. luck dragon it's from Mulan. Tiny red he dragon. hasn't seen it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Is there going to be one of those in this one? No. no. Okay. Yeah. Cool, 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 so, cool. but Eddie Murphy, he steals the show. And right. It's so it's oh, so good. great. Yeah. 90s. No. I, and that's the thing too that you know you hear uh, the score is uh, it, it was basically an arrangement of reflection, right? Yeah. Which is one of the coolest songs. So that's that's. Oh. What? That's it. God damn it yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a no, this is, joke this is for yeah. Mulan. Okay, yeah. This is the theme song to Mulan. <laughs> yeah. see, see, Cody just listened to that song the, by Sugar Ray when he was bleeding, and that's uh, why he was fine. Who are we? Get you through many injuries, guys. We were all at uh, we were all at lunch yesterday. That mm-hmm. that was playing as we walked in. I know. Oh. Yeah. That's the Cody song. But anyways, yeah, I, I feel like if they had done that instead of uh, like I I like parts of the Beauty and the Beast remake, but mm. the the actors are most of them are not singers, right? Another Josh Gad was. Dad's happy person. What? It's another movie with a Downton Abbey person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. like, Emma Watson, she's cool, but she's not a not singer. Not a singer. Right? And, and a lot of these old school uh, Disney musical movies have amazing singers in them. So, yeah. no matter what, you're well, not, no, no matter how was, much auto tune you and have, even, they're not going to sound And even good. then, you look at something like the original film of Mulan, it's not uh, uh, Ming Na Wen singing. Right. It's no, uh, Lady Salonga. Salonga. Lady yeah. Salonga, who's, but uh, come on. Legend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Donnie Osmond. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Dottie Osmond in Mulan. He's it's great. like he became you know? cool to me with that movie. Yeah, he did. He's great yeah. in Mulan. He yeah. really is. The other yep. thing, too, was back in the 90s and 80s, well, uh, uh, let's just go as far as back in the 80s, because in, in the 60s, we didn't know anybody anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> is that there wasn't, like, we weren't worried about voice talent. Right? right, like you threw one major voice talent in every movie, and everybody else was like a voice yes. actor. So you had Robin Williams in Aladdin. You had uh, James Earl Jones or Jonathan Taylor Thomas in Lion King. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. right, you had well, even in, in Little know, Mermaid, there wasn't really anybody super there famous. There wasn't, in and Little you know Mermaid. that Aladdin is the reason that changed. Exactly. Aladdin's yeah. the reason that we went in Robin the direction. Williams? Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. And Robin Williams right. did not want his name to be part of the promotion for Aladdin. The exact same year, I want to say, he also did Fern Gully. Uh, and they were not really promoting. And it was him and Tim Curry in Fern Gully. Tim right, Curry. and Robin Williams was pissed what Disney did. He was did. furious. He because they he actually put his name up as uh-huh. like the main one, because right? And he didn't want that. He there did was not a want se- that. Return of Jafar was not Robin Williams. Uh-uh. And then the third one was Robin back. Williams. Was, he came yeah, back because mm-hmm. Disney finally went, <laughs> sorry. I yeah. think that's, mm-hmm. I don't know if they like backed a and drink yeah. truck up or what, but. But I also think it's interesting that Disney, uh, you know, has done this a lot recently where they hire these big name A-list actors it's, when you don't need to. You have the, the entire brand. voiceover industry is going by way of that, of bringing in celebrities to do the voices. Right. And while, yes, absolutely with voice acting, acting is still the basis. You still have to be a good actor. Mm-hmm. It right. is a Different skill set, yeah. completely, um, and it's uh, they're not Broadway singers. Like, yeah. like Broadway singer, like that's like when you had Paige O'Hara, yes. right, singing it, singing Bell. Uh, was course. she Bell or was she Ariel? She was I forget. She was Bell, right? Yeah. Who was Jody, who was, uh, Jody, Jody Benson. Benson? Jody Benson, yeah, beautiful. Pocahontas, uh, yeah, she, beautiful voice, right? Like mm-hmm. that. Those are the people that should be singing in these movies, or you don't have a musical and you just have an epic war drama like, like Mulan, Mulan, and you have the score. Yeah. That's, that's what I love that need. they're doing. They're taking the songs that we know and love, and they're putting the weaving it into a exactly. score so yeah. that's why I had like legitimate that chills orchestral from orchestral arrangement of reflection I just got chills again I, yeah, yeah I was just it. I was wild yeah. I'm like oh Same. I don't even nice. know this song and I got emotional right? yes. <laughs> I think you'd like the, the uh, yeah, original I think I'm, you'll I'm, really I'm, well now it. that I have this Disney Plus thing yep. I've only watched Mandalorian but I yeah. can go watch Milan well B- Baby Yoda's not in it I'm sorry to say <laughs> yeah that's a real bummer <laughs> yeah <laughs> Should we just have a Disney Plus specifically for Josh, where Baby Baby Yoda Yoda. (laughs) is in all of the Disney movies? Like when Stitch would show up in all the Disney movies for those commercials, remember? Yes. Yes. No, just give me Baby Yoda and everything at this point. I I was watching Modern Family last night, and I was like, this could use Baby Yoda. (laughs) There's a (laughs) lot of things out there that could use Baby Yoda. Have you seen that Dear Baby Yoda song that's going around? Oh, God. Oh, the Hamilton cover. The one that's a cover of Dear Theodosia? Yes. Yeah, it's really good. Dear Baby Yoda, what to say? Say to you, <laughs> I'm so I'm so excited you're coming. We're all going to do karaoke soon, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In oh, a yeah. week, we're going to do week. it. Yes, yeah. Cody, you ready? It's okay. You guys can do karaoke without me because uh, you guys are all just in the B leagues until you see me up there. So. Whoa! 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 Snap! Dang. Just saying, Josh, I'm good at two things. 
bowling and karaoke. This okay. is true. Okay, I don't and as somebody that has count. seen you do bowling, <laughs> do bowling. I see what someone has seen you bowl. I, I, you are very good at bowling. I will give you that. But Cody, there's me at karaoke, and then there's everybody else. Cody, that's okay. so, pull up the that's video. So cute. There is, that's so cute, Josh. You have video, Cody, don't you? Okay, of what? I have walked karaoke? into Barney's yeah, karaoke. Oh. So. I've, but I saw karaoke Dude. of of Christian uh, in Florida. Did you not go to that karaoke? I thought that was Cody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they all did it. Cody, that, Christian, Thad, Thad. Thad sang Atlanta's more yeah, set, I, didn't he? Which I thought was great. amazing. Let me, yes. let me just, guys. Come on, Cody. There's footage of you Listen, doing I don't, karaoke. I don't, bra- I don't brag I, much. I can vouch, really though, for you. I've done karaoke with person. you. I, like, I, when I would walk into Barney's back in the day <laughs> when it was like people still were there, like people would start chanting my name. I'm not joking. Like Preach, people f- like f- lost their mind. I kept a woman employed at Barney's Karaoke for like ten years. We're, we're gonna okay? we're gonna Facetime you from our karaoke party yeah. while you're in New York. I went to a I went to a karaoke at. Remember when they used to do porn star karaoke? At, oh, of course, uh, yeah, what, at Dimples. Dimples, yeah. Right. I came off the stage and the and the girl's like, "Are you in a band or something?" And I was like, "No." She's like, "You should be." And I was like. <laughs> Well, thank you. And then I did another song, and she was like, I should maybe just learn an instrument. And you could be our front man. Like, I'm good at karaoke. I can't wait. I I took 12 years of piano lessons, but I don't know. Okay. I'm just because, you know, I've been told the same thing, that I should also have a band because of my karaoke skills. So maybe maybe we need to karaoke it up, Listen, it's not about the singing as it is about the performance. Mm -hmm. I think it's both. I think it's both. But as I'm good at both, Mm -hmm. like, Mm -hmm. listen, (laughs) I've seen people do karaoke. They're good. Yeah. Like there's good okay. people. Like Co- Cody's good. I'm sure you're good. I'm sure you're good. I'm on another level. Like okay. I would. Wow. I, I won. I won a karaoke contest He's... in college against theater majors, and I wasn't even in the school of theater. Listen. Like I destroyed. I won a live band karaoke the... one time, and they gave it's... me a free shot from the bar. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say something, Josh. The place in Universal. Uh, no, it was uh, actually at Residuals, right down the hill. Which, when they brought up residuals on the television show Barry for a moment, yes. I was like, mm, I might not be able to watch the show because it's <laughs> too real. <laughs> too real. No, too I, real. There, there's currently somebody on Reddit being like, Josh sucks at karaoke. Yeah, totally. yeah. <laughs> Howl at the Moon, I, the place at, yeah, at Universal. Yeah, I've done live karaoke there, too. My one buddy, uh, he, he one of his first dates he took his now wife, and I was the best man in that wedding. They came to see at the old John Lovitz, uh, old oh, John Lovitz yeah. comedy club. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, doing yeah. stand-up, and then afterwards, like, let's go to Howl at the Moon and grab a drink. And they went to the bar, and I walked up, and the, the guy knew me from Barney's. He was one of the guys at Barney's. Like, the karaoke community is small. When Belmont, <laughs> Barney's, Hell to Moon, like, the people that run those karaoke rooms, like Gaslight in Santa Monica, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, they, Backstage I would, and COVID, I would yeah, get our text bar messages. <laughs> I would get text messages from, our bar was great. Yeah. The R90s band used to play there. Um, I would get text messages from the girls, be like, you know, it's really slow here tonight. Can you come? <laughs> Okay, it'd be like a Wednesday night. Back in my wow. single days, I was like, sure, no problem. Showed up, did three songs, lit the place on fire, got out. And so, Listen, so Josh. For, out of all your skills, and mm-hmm. I'll let you finish yeah, no, because, but out of all your skills, is karaoke up there? Is that like your yeah. number one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. To the point where at my birthday, like four or five years ago, uh, this was like maybe yeah, five years ago. It was, the, it was the birthday before I started dating Amanda. I was there, and there was some crazy like international supermodel there. I don't know who she was, but she had these overalls and this striped shirt. We dated for like a week after she saw me do karaoke. That is not a lie. <laughs> That is not a lie. Josh McCuga, what I've been trying to say <laughs> is yes, you are correct. <laughs> I have been to that party yes. where I did sing, but I was overshadowed by the greatness that is Josh McCuga. Yeah. Yeah. You did go up there. It was at Barney's. There was a bunch of us there. It was pretty uh, spectacular, yeah, okay. I would say. I mean, I've never seen so, you yeah. speak so confidently about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. yeah. can back it up. Like, to the point where my cousin the one time was like, dude, we get it. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> like, so, we get it. Okay. So, right. so it's like me at, like, scores and soundtracks. Correct. That's, like, 100%. my one skill. That's your one skill. It's yeah, my okay. one skill yeah, that here. I know. I'll like, I've got five or ten songs. To the point where I was at a buddy's wedding in Washington, D.C., and they had a live band, right? And I went to the girls, like, you guys have uh, Billy Joel, Only the Good Die Young? She's like, yeah. I was like, start it. And she and she was like, okay. And then she went, I was like, I got this one. And I went up. The whole wedding turned around. Everybody had their phone. like, And nobody was like, che- they were all just like, yeah! And like, even the trombonist was like, who's this fucking guy? Like, he was so excited. I'm telling you, there's like, I am really Whoa. good at cover singing songs. Man, um, you just made me sad yes. that you're not coming I next know. week because Set we're all going to be there. So. Yeah. so, uh, karaoke's going strong. There are people yeah. there. You get there, you put in your, your song. What is yes. that song oh, yeah. to kick off 
the Makuga extravaganza. <laughs> Clearly, there. Yeah. Is it a Yacht Rock song? Yeah. I've done this song before. No. Okay. So, okay. Cody, you're doing this Damn song right, next Cody. week. My favorite band all time, obviously, is Journey. But we all know that Steve Perry sold a soul to the devil for the voice of an angel. Nobody can hit those notes. Oh, Sherry. Like, very, oh, very true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sherry is an amazing yeah. song. I can't hit those notes. I know my range, right? right yeah. So, what are there's you? a lot of like '90s rap that I will do, which is totally oh. fine. But that doesn't that can get the crowd going. Yeah. But usually the one that if I got you got to judge the crowd. If it's an older crowd, I'll do Looking Glass Brandy because uh-huh. you know whatever mm-hmm. they like that song. Or I'll do a Neil Diamond, oh, right? Oh, Smart. Little right? Sweet Caroline? No, no, not Sweet Caroline. Okay. No, that one's overplayed. You gotta pick up yeah. this yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Forever in Blue Jeans. Like I'll oh, yeah, yeah, You know good what one. I mean? Or a Cherry Baby. People mm-hmm. love yeah. Cherry Baby. Mm-hmm. If it's like a, a Cody-ish crowd, I'll go Muddy Muddy Bostones, knock on wood, because nice. everybody lo- mm-hmm. you know likes a little Muddy Muddy Bostones. Yeah. Da-da-da. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that's um, great. Which Ken Ken is the song ruiner, and he'll come on and tell you. <laughs> yeah. Ken is the song ruiner because you're like, you know what song I like? He's like, I'm like, Mighty Mighty Boston song. He's like, you know that's about people dying from AIDS. I'm like, Jesus Christ, Ken! <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man, way to ruin every song I've ever loved, right? I'm like, semi charm crowd. He's like, that's about a woman killing herself in front of her boyfriend. I was like, what the fuck? Man, I can't <laughs> wait to ruin yeah, Beatles songs song. for him. Now, like, run, run for your life, little girl. Like, yeah. that's like a super messed up song. Real there's messed a, up. There's yeah. a song called Faded by Soul Decision, which is like a late '90s rap song which people mm. get people going there's uh this is your night by amber this oh, is your night yeah. right yeah. It's, it's all about like the performance dance you got to yeah. get like a dance in there yeah. so and you got to know your crowd yes. you got to know no i get it Toto Rosanna, well, the math good. checks out here okay. makuga had an answer and it wasn't just one answer i mean yeah. i have like three songs that what i just go they? to mm. uh, yeah. end of the world rem oh that's okay. right that's you a had one that. yeah uh footloose mm. i like to do footloose oh, little kenny loggins little Dancing. kenny loggins uh, i do american girl Tom Petty. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a that's a good. I pull that one out when it's it's a little low. Yeah. yeah. Well, when we're that, gonna. When the low. We're gonna do all of those next week, yeah. and including all of the musicals and the Disney yes. and all of the '80s. And uh, Cody, I guess you can sing some Blink 182. I know the entire catalog. <laughs> I will say my favorite karaoke moment though at Barney's, which I may have told on this show before, but uh, and it was just mentioned in this last episode of Silicon Valley. Mm. Um, so I'm at. It, the St- Penguins just won the Stanley Cup that night. We went to Barney's on a Sunday night, and it was like me, my brother, a couple buddies, Amanda, a couple of her friends, and we're singing karaoke, and it's getting crazy. And all of a sudden, the like the puddle of mud song. So I was like, "Can you take it all away?" And and I'm looking at the guy, and I'm like, "That's the lead singer of Puddle of Mud, singing." His puddle of mud song, and my brother goes, "This is the most depressing thing I've ever heard." <laughs> like, and he was going for it. He was going for it. However, the other best time was when Extreme showed up at Barney's and did oh, more than words. Up. What? Which Bang. I, which I sang in my high school band. See, uh, yeah. yeah. What's your song? Do you have a go-to? I have, I have a lot. I mean, music yeah. is my life. Like yeah. that's like my, in my family, we all grew up uh, singing and mm-hmm. playing musical instruments. So everything from like Betty Davis Eyes to uh, sure. On Our Own by uh, Bobby Brown, Ghostbusters. Good. Too, like oh. all over the place. Oh. It's a great song. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, as much as I would like to uh, continue talking about karaoke, mm-hmm. we do have to talk about other nerd news, right? Wait, Mark? Sure. I just say one thing about the Mulan trailer real quick? Yes, please. Because that's fantastic. I'm really looking forward to me it. Too. Yeah, me too. But as a, a red-blooded straight male, if Mulan showed up at like an army training camp, Mm. And all my guys were like, that's a dude. I'm like, you guys are idiots. That is a beautiful woman. <laughs> I don't care how short her hair is. That woman is gorgeous. And they're like, no, it's a dude. Her name's Reggie. I'm like, it's not. <laughs> it's not Reggie. That is a beautiful woman. I, you can name a woman Reggie. That's fine. But that woman is yeah. a woman. Or, all, all the men are like, we have weird feelings right yeah. now. Yeah. Don't know why. Sudden, don't know how to unpack this. She or lets her a- hair down. And I'm like, I fucking told yeah. you. I told you. Yeah, yeah. So I don't care if she's a warrior. She's been hot the whole time. <laughs> I mean, Sorry for she could also just be a really hot boy. Yeah. A really pretty yeah. boy. But as a straight man, yeah, looking it. at yeah. it, I'm like, yeah. maybe it's a cute boy, but it's a gorgeous woman. Yeah. <laughs> okay? It's gorgeous. I'm not taking anything away from the casting. Mulan, kick ass. But you're really attractive. She's a very, very beautiful. Yeah. How she old is, beautiful. is she in this movie? Like 22? I don't know. You're like, is she legal? Is she I legal? Hope <laughs> Because now I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, it's, I know, it's supposed like I... to be historical China, so she's probably real young. Yeah. She's probably like Farts. Ariel Little Murray, which is like 16 or something. But the actress Farts. is, is yeah. definitely It's like legal. when I had to look up like how old uh, Timothy Chalamet was. I'm like, he's he's like over 18, right? Because yeah. I can't be yeah. attracted yeah. to somebody that's like, like, yeah, yeah, what Army Hammer was 
gay doing gay stuff, and he was of, of eight, right? Uh, what do you mean in, uh, in uh, Call Me in By, call by, by your, name? your Name? Right, he was. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, <laughs> not in the actual story. I think in the story he's seventeen. Oh yeah. Like, but yeah, in the movie he was. <laughs> I mean, they were in Italy, so it was a little more like. <laughs> great, yeah. great movie, yeah. by the way. Call Me By Your Name. You guys haven't seen it. Uh, the peach scene is my favorite. So, Mark, what else you got for us today? Oh Lord. Well, you want to talk about the Snyder Cut because the internet wants to talk about the Snyder Cut. Well, I know Cody does. Uh, here we go. So Zack Snyder shared a photo. And I love the the headline that uh, Yahoo born, has here. Lee Yufei was born in 1987, so she's very oh, much. Oh yeah, she's yeah, uh, she's, she's that's fine. So you're good. Old. You're okay. Very close Again, in age to me. A beautiful woman. <laughs> she's a beautiful woman. Yeah. Sorry um, about that. Sorry. No. Here we go. So Zack Snyder shared a photo, basically confirming that the Snyder cut does in fact exist. We've all known that. <laughs> I mean, now that we that he's been talking yeah. about it, that it's out there, that the actors from Justice League have been sharing release the Snyder cut. He showed an actual photo of the Snyder Cut, the actual film. Wait, can we see it? Yeah. Uh, Cody, if you go to that pull link. That up, Mark. Thank you very yeah. much, Cody. It's can coming. you pull that up? Uh, wait for it. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's that Yahoo link. It's, it's that Yahoo so link down. It's, it's gonna right be... there. Yahoo. Nope, it, keep going it's up. It's almost like you have too many links in here. Yeah. All right, here yep. we go. I got it right there. There it is. You should pull up your photo again, your bloody photo again. <laughs> yeah. There Yay! it is. That's the Snyder Cut. <laughs> there it is, the Snyder Cut. So is it real? Does it exist? Of course it does. Whoa. And it's uh, on Is he just playing with us now? No. 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 This thing, this no, thing, it's, in a it's, film it's been pretty much uh, confirmed uh, the now. The internet is going wild again. But th- this isn't shocking, right? They With the cast started... Like actually hashtag and release the yeah. Snyder's gun. We saw Gal Gadot. We already uh, talked about this on the show. It's like they're clearly gonna release it. It's, yeah, uh, like, uh, like they wouldn't be doing I'm this still, otherwise. I'm still holding out that it's gonna be an HBO Max thing because yeah. they need something it's to. The, yeah. It totally. feels like Warner you know? Brothers doesn't give a shit. They it really does because when finally when when I heard Zack Snyder say, "Oh yeah, I have a cut," I was like. Oh. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you believe the director. Right. And I'm yeah. like, okay. So then the, the actors start sharing it. Then he shares this. And I was like, well, of course he has, you know, the, the actual yeah. cut. But it doesn't feel like because when all the actors were doing the, the sharing of the hashtag, Variety put out there uh, an, an article. I don't know if it's Variety or Hollywood Report. Anyway, somebody checked with the sourcing on uh, Warner Brothers and they're like, yeah, we have no plans. There was like we, we and it's a uh, and variety article I think ended with it's like a long shot or or it, it's not going to happen for, on Warner Brothers end. And what was that? Uh, you also mentioned to me, and I haven't read this n- news item, but I guess somebody said that he, the, the actual Justice League, the theatrical release, only had like ten percent of his footage. So this is the other what kind of goes <laughs> with yeah, this. Cinematographer so Fabian Wagner explains uh, that it was like ten. He said something like ten percent of Zack Snyder's footage actually made it into the theatrical release. 10%? 10%. So 90% was all reshoots with mm-hmm. Joss Whedon and the and the, um, and the the rewrites. Ah, uh, and, and the entire film Twitter is pissed, and I, and along with all the other Snyder fanboys and fangirls, am very happy about this. <laughs> I, I mean, it, I so didn't funny. know. I mean, this is a courtesy of Screen Rant. They, they got this from an actual interview that uh, Fabian was doing where he d- he did say the yeah. 10% stuff and I went well that makes perfect sense I yeah. mean that because sure. that, mo- <sighs> that movie that movie didn't feel like it's a, a Zack Snyder movie <laughs> like, it, like it had a few no. shots but it did not feel like it that, at all that didn't even feel like a movie <laughs> It was weird. Some it scenes was, were cool. It was just a. It, it was, but that's what it was. It was a bunch of scenes. Yeah. Why do you lead with the mustache? Legitimately, I, I continue to wonder. Your first shot out of the gate of the movie is mustache gate. Here's the thing: if you're telling us it's 90 percent Joss Whedon, clearly that's correct because he just remade the Avengers, but worse. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. It's legitimately the Avengers, but yeah. worse. Yeah. 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 So if you're telling me that it, it, it just it, yeah, no shit, he's like, well, this worked for Marvel. I'll just do it for DC. Yeah. But, so, but also, are you... I have to correct myself and totally botch this. Hoon Lee is the guy from Banshee. He is not in Mulan. Oh, I was oh. thinking yeah. it's a guy that looks a lot like him, square jaw, but it's it's different. He's uh, Hoon Lee's in Warrior now. Regardless, yeah, Got he's it. great on Warrior. Yeah. And I thought that was him. In, it was real quick in the trailer, so that's my bad. No worries. It's all good. There's a yeah. lot, lot of good actors in yeah. it. A lot of good actors. Um, but so, but this... so, do you guys care at all? Like, like if it, like, is it one of those things where if it comes out on HBO Max and it's streaming, are you guys gonna like pop it in and watch it? Because like for me, yes, I really want to see this. Oh yeah. But yeah, no. I. I, I have to admit that I um, muted the hashtag uh, release the Snyder Cut because I'm just tired of it. Yeah, um, I get it. 
And that isn't to say that I'm not in favor of it. I I am a big proponent of if the art exists, then let it exist. Yeah. It, it kind of circles back to, in a lot of ways, our conversation about how we feel about the Disney live action remakes, whether yeah. you like them or not the thing that you liked, the animated film, still exists. Mm -hmm. So if there are people out there that love the Joss Whedon version of Justice League, that's still going to exist. And then people will also be able to see the Snyder Cut. And and for me, though, it shouldn't be to compare them. It should just to be to experience all of it. I disagree, Emma. You have to like (laughs) everything I like and hate everything I hate because that's so dumb. Why do you guys do that? Who cares? I don't care what uh, you guys like. Yeah, Get this. 214 minutes was written on the cut. So that is uh, three hours and 34 minutes of his Um, cut, which, you know... It's longer than The Irishman. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's what's going out there. Still not through season one of The Irishman. Yeah. (laughs) I, that's a that's a Cody joke. I stole yeah. that. I'm sorry. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cody has very good jokes on Twitter. He's sometimes. very good on Twitter. If you are not yes. following Cody on Twitter, you're missing out. Yeah, he's pretty 100%. good. So I, but to, to answer your question out there, that this would be like a Mandalorian episode dropping for me. It would be a must see. Yeah. Okay. Like I, I would love to see this because of how much I like Man of Steel and BBS to see his vision right. for the third movie that he was in. He's even said completing the story of what he was doing with Superman. So, yeah. of course, I'm I like, know, that's the part. That's, that's the one and that that's gets exactly me. exactly, you mentioned BVS. Like, I, I had so many issues with the theatrical release, but then when I saw Ultimate Edition and I actually got to see Clark Kent's character, I'm like, oh, he actually is in this. now. Yeah. Like, movie, I, what, that's what I, I want to see. It so. gets better and better every time I watch it. I, oh, no. I, I, what, I Justice do, League? No, 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 no. Batman oh. versus Superman. I've only come around so much on BVS, even now putting it Really high up there with DC movies because right problem next to Man of Steel is Lex Luthor. Honestly, like, and, and yeah. not because yeah. Jesse Eisenberg's back. No, I just no, no, didn't no. like the take on yeah, his character. Yeah, I actually right? think he was well cast as that character, but right. I, I think the take on it was not, yeah, not the greatest. It wasn't. Ter- it's fine. It's watchable. Yeah. Um, but Lex Luthor's such a cool. Oh, character. Lex Luthor's Come a great on. character. And and you, disagree, you disagree? I just want to see Michael yeah. Rosenbaum you're doing, play him again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. You're I'm doing your Robert De Niro look there. I don't know about that. I'm not a fan of that. either Batman v Superman or Man of Steel. I didn't really like either of those movies. What superhero movies do you really like? Yeah. Uh, uh, Ant Man. Oh, yeah, Ant Man's Ant-Man. okay. one of my favorites. I really dug uh, Ant Man. Also, yeah. what about you, Emma? Um, hmm, Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> sign me up again it's all day with Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, uh, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. My favorite, uh, like as far as superhero movies go, uh, Ant Man, The Phantom with Billy Zane. Yeah. Yep. Um, Thor Ragnarok yeah. for sure. The first Guardians of the Galaxy, I love. I, I even enjoyed the second one. All the ones that yeah. make you laugh. Totally and, fun. Yeah, yeah. Ones. I also really uh, dug Wonder Woman. I loved Wonder Woman, and I think that one of the things that is kind of great about the DC films and where your your point is not incorrect at all, Makuga, about Joss Whedon basically taking Justice League and going, "I'm just going to apply the Avengers formula to uh-huh. this, and it's going to work." Mm. The thing. That keeps the DC films interesting, yet also I think is why they've kind of struggled to find their stride is that they are allowed to be more different yeah. than one another. Not, which isn't to say that Marvel isn't doing that. They're playing with every single subgenre, and most of their best films are the ones where they are messing around with subgenres or they're letting movies be their own thing. Guardians of the Galaxy is a great example. That yeah. is a James Gunn film. Yeah. Um, Ragnarok. Uh, Ragnarok, totally. It's like a TV movie. Yep. So, I, I think they just should uh, let directors do their thing. Yes, I'm exactly. They should just let creators take over. Deadpool is a great example uh, yeah, of that. Yeah, you know? definitely. But yes, I, another superhero movie yeah, I love is yeah. Deadpool. Another one that I, I can't believe I didn't lead off with it because I, I always think of like modern ones. Clearly, the greatest superhero movie of all time is 1989 Batman. Batman oh, Returns. Batman Returns. Returns. I do like yeah, that one. Batman Returns. No, 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 no. Well, if we're going down that road. 1978 <laughs> <Cody>. Superman. <laughs> Come on, Cody. Cody. You need to stop shitting what, on the best on? comic book movie. I, I, Which I didn't is, hit a single thing. Is Batman Returns? Happens. Oh Cody, yeah. Also, you are, you, are, you, are you actually <laughs> farting? Then that was a glitch. <laughs> Cody, you actually wore. I'm, you may still wear it. You wear that 1989 Batman shirt no, 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 all no, the Josh, time. Josh, I like the 89 one. It's uh, Returns at a Oh, of correct. Thank yeah. you. That's uh, returns is so much better. It's the best. I will say this right now. Batman Returns is the worst Batman uh, movie of all. Of them. No, no, no. no. So what? here, here's I will take Batman Forever, Batman and Robin over both of them. Oh God, no. Oh God, I'll take. George Clooney nipples bye, bye, any Darina. day of the week. Holy shit. Any we lost, day of the week. You cleared out the room okay, with this. Listen. Hot take. Stupid Chester Copperfield. Oh, God, the Reddit. 
<laughs> the Josh McCougar Reddit. The Reddit page. Page. I, I will say this. Take take Selena Kyle out of Batman Returns. And you her... still have Michael Keaton and Christopher Walken. Yeah. yeah it was terrible. Uh, there was a total a waste Did you of Michael say Keaton. It, Michael Keaton was no, terrible? No, no, He's fucking great I'm in I'm talking movie. about it being the movie. Michael Keaton is always great in everything he does. It doesn't yes, matter. Perfect. Even in the movie Post Grad with Alexis Bledel. <laughs> he's amazing. Okay? You take... Selena Kyle and Michael Keaton out of Batman Returns, take everything away, and then do another movie with just them as the that's our Batman Returns, take away the penguin. I'm fantastic with it. No, so I I, I, I half agree with your statement. So I I, hated the I, un- I understand why people dislike the penguin part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard this that one like... in a bit, Cody. Wow. Yeah, it's not me, guys. It's just whenever you talk about the movie, the farts just they, they automatically play. I'm sorry. It's, it's how the board's wired. Keep that that fart. You're keep... so lucky. That's my favorite fart noise. So, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to fight about this forever. Sure. But, mm-hmm. Dude, uh, Zack Snyder, Jesus, he's going on Twitter right now. What? Like, literally. I'm on... Hold on real quick. Wait, I'm he gonna, just tweeted. I'm going like, to get this. He just tweeted? Yeah, so Screen Rant went, uh, Breaking news, Cody. has the Snyder Cut of Justice League is over three hours long. Scott Mendelson, um, who's a great writer over at Forbes, says this is almost certainly an assembly cut, which is always excessively long <laughs> because that's what an assembly cut is. And then Zack Snyder tweets at him and says the assembly cut was nearly five hours long. Jeez. So he cut this thing down to the two... So it truly is a Snyder cut. So it literally is a Snyder So Zack Snyder Good continues <laughs> continues to push back at this because he's, a, he's he's got... Look, the fans with this movement, I said on the last Rally Roundtable, they won. They, this worked. Right. They got people talking about it yeah. and they got Zack Snyder going, wait a minute. People actually want to see this, and right. it's emboldened him to start sharing all this other additional, like, looks at the movie that he was trying to do, like, pre-production art. And now he's going in on Twitter and going, nope, you're, you're wrong. That was five hours. This is my cut. So right. it's, it's continuing to happen. So HBO Max, I think, is the perfect place to, to release this. Yes, I agree. I want to see it. I like Emma. I would like to not talk about it anymore. I just want to see it. As, <laughs> yeah. I want to see it. As the kids say, <clears throat> fuck me up with that Snyder cut. Let's get it. Yeah, exactly. I just want to see that because after BVS, what is his vision? Because that's what bothered me. I also didn't feel like a continuation. Didn't feel like a continuation and a complete 180 in tone that Mm -hmm. then continued on in Aquaman. It's like Aquaman. There's Jason Momoa and and BVS (laughs) and and set up in this in this kind of (laughs) different look. And Aquaman comes along like that is a totally different tone than what I was getting with BVS and Super and Man of Steel Um, that I liked. Because Wonder Woman was a good tone. Oh, yes, Wonder Woman. I felt like. Like drama, it. comedy, everything. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. so looking forward to oh, Wonder Woman. Yeah. 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 Looks great. When does it come out? Uh, June? June, June 2020. I think, yes. Okay. Um, did I ever tell you my mom's uh, review of Aquaman? Oh, <laughs> so my I, had, man. I, had, I had just seen oh, uh, I had just seen Bumblebee, which is fantastic. Yes. If you have not seen Bumblebee, p- please, please watch Bumblebee. Bumblebee is real good. It's I E.T., love but so good. with a robot. Yeah. Um, and Haley Steinfeld. A robot that just likes. I do. Well, because they're nice ones yeah they're nice they're nice alien robots yeah. um and uh so i texted my mom and said oh i just saw bumblebee it was so great and my mom texts back and goes oh we're really looking forward to seeing bumblebee she and my dad this is she goes we just saw aquaman not very good not enough character development oh <laughs> straight Damn. up just burn crush <laughs> does she watch your shows and she's learning from yeah. you or oh, what's yeah. happening I know she's, 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 my mom are you making opinions. your mom a, pun, a pundit a nerd my pundit mom, now my mom is now a nerd pundit <laughs> that, that's a good take yeah. it's not like my mother who thought the noah movie was actually a transformers movie so <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Do you remember Noah with yeah. Russell Crowe? With Russell yeah. Crowe, the Aronofsky. Watson and all them? Uh, I don't know. I can't. Yeah, Emma Watson was in it. Yeah. Is. So there's a there's a scene in the movie where like or like rock creatures come to life or something. Oh, like yeah. spoilers for Noah, by the way. <laughs> um, so my my mom was like, yeah, it's like Transformers. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And I hadn't even seen it yet. And I'm like, now what's going on with Transformers? And she's like, I think there's Transformers in it. And I'm like, I have to get to the bottom of this, <laughs> yeah, mom. Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Was she drinking she wine and she was watching something else? No, it was a Why matinee. Did you know, that's matinee. awesome. My mo- I, mean, I want to go the, see movies with your mom. My mother's reviews are amazing because she. It's why Christian Harloff wanted me to always yeah. do Mrs. Riley because she would see. She like for instance my do favorite. One, do one for us. It with, was like with your voice. It, uh, you know I just saw the Departed and I was like oh do you like the Departed? She's like 
like I loved every single moment of it, but I am very I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> and I went, Aww. oh, okay. Yeah. That's, uh, a, that's so honest. I love, she I love it. But she, she enjoyed it. Oh, she yeah, enjoys. Well, go. she she likes her movies, and and then that's she great. usually you know comes back with her hot take. I was oh, I was always like I didn't watch Aquaman in the theater. I didn't go see it in the theater. I waited for a while because like, everybody I talked to around here was My like, no, it's pretty man. good. And I, I listen. I say it all the time. I swam in high school. I like the water. I, I always <laughs> wanted to be Aquaman. That was my superhero. Was like, he swam real fast. He had a spear. Like I always liked spears he and tried to fish. He rode fish. fish. He was always yeah. living underwater. That was my dream That's to live cool. underwater. Yeah. Right? Like it's a really cool thing. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Such well timed job. <laughs> oh my! I don't God. understand what that was. Like I watched the first forty minutes and stopped it, and I was like. Am I watching a, the different a different movie? Like, is this, like the, a... is this the airplane cut? Like, am I on an airplane right. cut? Did, you didn't like Willem Dafoe riding a shark or whatever that the, was? Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> hair in that movie took me at like Amber Heard's wig was horrendous. Mm. Uh, Patrick Wilson, uh, yeah. Willem Dafoe, their hair was always so shiny. But didn't you then like... they were just like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you like though there there were Michelle some... Pfeiffer was just there. Because she's awesome. But didn't you like the, some of the underwater Michelle scenes? Though, no, she Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, thank you. Whatever. <laughs> was like, some of the underwater scenes, though, looked like like cool modern Flash Gordon stuff. Like some of it, yeah. did, like James Wan did a really yeah. good job with that. The visual stuff it looked the like underwater was beautiful. Tail. Yeah, it, no, it did not. Flash but Gordon's with weirder a good, animals. Flash Gordon's a good reference for right. it. But mm -hmm. that, would, you, uh, would you call it Splash Gordon? Oh! 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 <laughs> Rumor Mill is in good hands. So Josh really, really, truly. Slash. Well done, Cody. Well uh, so done, do we got more, more news, Mark? Because we are going to play a little game. I just, I just want to play the game. Then okay, let's play the let's game. Play this yeah. game. Cody, you ready? Sure, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 know, I know you have nothing else to do. It's not like you're actually like helping he's us actually currently live stream writing, the show He's writing his treatment for Splash Gordon right now. <laughs> I do want to see that. What if that's? What if they actually make a movie with Splash, you know, oh, like Daryl like Hannah, Hannah and Tom Hanks, and, Tom Hanks, and combine yeah, yeah, yeah. it with Flash Gordon? I'd watch it. And so it. it's Flash Gordon under the scene. I, I loved Splash when I was a kid. That was one of my favorite Can you do the <laughs> scream? Please splash. Is there any news in there worth talking about? Because uh, I, I, I know I threw a lot. Oh, one in there. thing I do want to talk about, and I'm very excited about, really yeah. quick, is Lock and Key because that's yes. one of my favorite comic books, right? And and Mark, it looks like it's coming on Nef uh, to Netflix next year. Yeah. So Holy finally, shit. finally, finally, I don't know it for fans of Lock and Key out there. One of the best comic series I've ever yes. read. What uh, is it about? Uh, it's horror. You're gonna get scared, Got but it. Uh, but in short, it's basically uh, a family of ghosts. that yes, sort of no, that uh, Aquaman. a family that goes to this giant house uh, in Maine, I guess. Mm, I'm assuming Maine's I forget. Scary. Oh yeah, because Joe Hill wrote it, who's Stephen King's son. Oh, and so, I met Joe Hill. He did horns. Oh, yes, there, he yes, did. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so um, this is basically a story where there's all of these hidden keys throughout the house and they all have different powers, mm -hmm. right? So like one of the keys like turns you into like a ghost and you leave your body and, and you can like, you know, haunt people or whatever. Like there's another key that you can go into like your brain and, or other people's brains and like take stuff out of there as oh, well. Which so is you can the take, poster. Like, yes, yeah, so you can take like memories out. And so there's this whole, it's it's an amazing comic book. It's one of my favorite like uh, comic book series of all time. Yeah, so here's yeah. the official synopsis from Netflix. It's going to premiere February 7th of next year. So oh, we are close. Whoa. Which this caught me off guard. I was like, oh my God. Is it, so it's a as series or a movie? TV it's a series. Okay, okay. Okay. It's a series. So after their father is murdered under mysterious circumstances, right. the three Locke siblings and their mother move into their ancestral home, Key House which they discover are full of magical keys that will be connected to their father's death. As the Lock children explore the different keys and their unique powers, a mysterious demon awakens. There you go, Josh. That's yeah. for you. And will stop at nothing to steal them. Uh, so uh, Carlton Cuse, Lost in Bates Motel, uh, uh, and uh, Meredith Averill, uh, Averill, who did The Haunting of Hill House. Oh, oh that's awesome. Oh. The series is coming of age mystery about love loss Can and the unshakable bonds awesome. of family. Because it, it sounds to me from the synopsis, and I've not read the comic, but now right. I want to because it sounds amazing. It's, is it yeah. is it like young audience no, friendly? No. I mean, I, I would show it to my be. kids, but I messed up. I don't think most parents would show it to their kids. Okay. Because there is some darker themes and, and some like kind of gory stuff too. Yeah. It's not like Preacher, right? Like if you read Preacher, right. it's like super graphic. Yeah. Right? But there is some definitely like like adult horror stuff in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's so good. It, yeah. I, this is totally on regard with lock and key because obviously my brain just zoned out as soon as you said Stephen King's son wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I met Joe Hill, really nice guy, looks just like Stephen King. But I keep thinking to myself, what? can you imagine if like I was Stephen King's son? How like a, <laughs> like a paradox of that would be is that it's like this is my son Josh. I'm like I'm scared of my dad. <laughs> Dude, if we were still oh doing Awesome Tacular, I would yeah. want you to find out that you're actually Stephen, Stephen King's, King's son. son. Yeah. Yeah, that, and I would want to explore that. that that's, uh, a, that's a sketch we're writing, by the way. Yeah, no, it's, it's happening. It's, it's but, Stephen King's um, mom, you... like, I'm adopted. And like, hey, your real father <laughs> Stephen, Stephen King. King. I'm like, no thanks. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Like, what is the Stephen King Christmas party like? He's like, hi, welcome. And then the tree disappears, <laughs> and out pops a villain, like a demon. That eats dude, people's it's Christmas so funny. Your yeah. house would be full of like Pennywise and yeah. like the Brady twins, and, like, like the all the tricycle cool from The Shining. Yeah. And you'd have the, the carpet Took from the Overlook Motel and the furry bear that's in the I'm hotel I'm scared room. of my garage back in Pittsburgh, and that's just because there's a bunch of hammers hanging up. Yeah, I can't imagine what the weird like. A garage of Stephen King's like ah this is the tricycle from Shining. Oh man, that'd be like, so cool. No that would be cool. Way. I would love I mean, that. I mean, just an aside. I was we were listening to I Christmas mean, rich, songs last but... night. There is a <laughs> lot of references to scary things in Christmas songs. Like there's that one song that's like there'll be scary ghost stories. I'm like why? Uh -huh. It's yeah. Christmas. What because are you doing? Trying with to that? rhyme something. You're just, it's like why scary ghost stories? And then this love other the song, Mark the figgy book. pudding motherfuckers that won't leave the party <laughs> until, until you give them figgy pudding. Do you know what the most terrifying song of all time? Is what jingle bells, yeah, it's so scary, especially if you go in small world because that's all they sing during Christmas. That's true, mm, really? I hate it so much. It's they just horrible. change the jingle bells, yeah, they're Ugh. just singing oh, yeah, jingle they just bells sing the jingle whole bells. Time. It's the most terrifying ride I've ever I don't understand. Life. It's a small world. I really don't. Okay. I don't either. Well, It's a Small World was an attraction that was created for the World's Fair in New York. Uh, Holy shit, um, Emma Five. Go. Of course she knows this. Well, no, because I was Bam. watching Imagineering Story. Uh, oh, I want to see that. I was yeah. watching Imagineering Story really with my mom mm. over Thanksgiving. Was she an Imagineer? No. Oh. She went <laughs> on the original It's a Small World at the New York World's Fair. Holy shit. Before what? it was wow. a Disneyland That's attraction. That's so cool. Was it all wow. messed up like Duff Beer Land? <laughs> In the Simpsons, duck beer for you. You'll have a duck. You'll have one, one too. It was no. I mean, it, it it was exactly the. It's a small Same world thing. that we have now. It's just it was the older dolls. But at the time when they were making the attraction, basically. Uh, the woman who did the costume design for it, uh, Walt Disney said, "I want you to just make." clothes that women would want to actually own and put them on these dolls and I, I want to spare no expense on this ride basically. So yeah, it was it was basically meant to spare be no so expense. We're we're still paying for Walt Disney's stupid idea yeah, of putting in this <laughs> it's no, a small world. No, 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 but but the concept behind it's a small world. And, so we're all like not, supposed to get along. I right, get and it. I, 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 that makes I, sense. Yeah. I get it. it. Is a small However, world. Emma It was what, revolutionary at the time. I get it. I one hundred percent get it. Let's all get along. It's a small world. You're on from this part of the world. I'm from this part of the world. Let's all get along. I want 100% agree with that. Did they have to make that song that terrible? Like, did they have to make it well, sit in your brain? Actually, I don't like, like it. The, sir, the, I don't the Sherman like it. brother who's still alive, I think Roger Sherman is the one that's Not still alive. Yeah, Ro yeah okay. Roger Sherman. Um, he, Richard Sherman, the uh, linebacker for, or the <laughs> defensive back for the no. 49ers. Yeah, yeah. I okay. also had a theater professor named Roger, Sher Roger well Sherman. Right now, but uh, No, but Roger Sherman was talking about, he actually like makes a joke about it in, in Imagineering Story of like, well, I made this song that a lot of people hate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there it is. Oh God! No, 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 no switch it. to the other one. No, Zubilee Zoo. Zubilee Zoo. No, 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 Zubilee not that Zubilee. one. <laughs> no. 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 Oh. Do the do the theme song. It's the worst song ever. It's real bad. Oh. Do the theme it's song. Anyways, we are now playing a TV thong. TV, TV thong. thong. TV Whoa. theme song. Let's Whoa. play the TV thong. TV theme song or the thong 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 thong. thong. Uh, Cody, you ready? <laughs> Yep. Is this happening? <laughs> are, right. you, are you playing along or are you just going to be our saw guy? <laughs> well, I have all the songs. He has, songs. All, the he has all the songs, okay. so he can't. Okay, I'd be so, pretty good at it. So what, we just I use think our you names? would be. Yeah, so we're going okay. back around to the TV. Guess the TV the... theme song. So okay. when Cody plays a little snippet of it, okay. whoever gets it first, say your name. Okay. And then answer. All right. And first one to let's do because we have 15 I'm minutes. I'm not going to say my name. I'm going to just yell 90s? like Josh. 80s and 90s. Is, it's across the board theme songs uh, okay. from all over the decades. All right. And uh, so maybe first one to three. Cool. Sure. Oh, sure. Shit. Okay. All right. Here, here we, we go. go guys. We're going to sing song it. number one. Oh. Makuga. Oh, shit. Small wonder. No, that is incorrect. Oh. Hold on. Oh, fart. Go. I know this. I do too. I don't know this. Oh, guys, come on. Is yeah, this a cartoon? Hold on. No. Shit. Oh, man. Uh, Thundercats. No. 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 Uh, 
Gem and the Holograms. No, it's not. Oh, oh, oh it's Jump Street. Jump Street. Oh, see, I never saw it. So Fuck. that's yeah. why. Okay. I should have gotten that. I'm so, di- that. I'm so You're disappointed so in myself. Sad. He's a disappointment to the city of Pittsburgh. Yeah. Oh my Damn. God. Damn. Damn, Cody. Okay, I, I guess next one. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they so only that was a failure. Down it's, on Jump Street is yeah. what they played at the end of the movies. Right, yeah. right. They didn't play that beginning part. Yeah. Like Chad's like, And 21 Jump Street was before my time. That's like 82. Yeah. Right, but well, okay, well, next this. one. Right, an easy one, all right? Okay. Oh, Dorina! Oh. Sorry. I thought we were supposed to say names. <laughs> so you're right. Farts. I'll Should we just it say it then? Yeah, yeah let's just say, say it. it. Okay. Josh got okay. it. Okay, next one. Okay. Sorry. Stand by. I'm mm-hmm. going to load a playlist. And then, okay, here we go. Okay. Riley. Oh, farts. Chips. That is correct. Yeah! yeah! I was going to say Magnum P.I. That's Fuck pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Uh, keep talking, keep talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got chips, yeah, motherfucker. Okay, never mind. Stop talking. Chips. <laughs> chips. Riley. Joe Simpsons! I think Simpsons. Riley got it. I think it was Riley's first. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll take Good that. Job, fucking right? point, yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, let's if they're going to be easier like this, we should go to five. Okay, okay let's, let's go to five. Some time. Okay. Let's go to five. Riley. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? How are you so fast? Next right? say files. your names. Yeah, yeah, say your name. Wait, so I'm saying our name. I thought we were saying the word. To sing the song. We say we no, say our name. Say that's name. our buzzer. Yeah. And, and then you oh. answer. All right. So fine. are we we are saying I'll take a point off. I'll take a point off for our files. Okay. So it's two ones still. Two ones still. Okay, here we go. Darina. Shit. Martin. No. No. Josh. Okay. Home improvement. That's yes, correct. that's oh! right. You're right. You're right. Oh, that's a, you're totally right. I, I knew it and I fucked up. Good job, Josh. Thank you. Okay. Oh, gotta skip the Cosby show. Not gonna play that. Oh, oh, yes, oh, please yeah. skip that. How good good this theme one? song. Okay. Right. Josh! Farts! Dorina! <laughs> Fuck you! This is Dorina. my show! I'm taking it! Take it. Family ties. Yep. No, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's who's the boss? No, no it's, it's not. Family ties. Family ties. It is family ties. Damn it! I gave that one to Joshy. No, it's yours. You said it first. Nope. I'm in a generous mood because I'm going to motherfucking wipe the floor with you, right? These are all really great songs. Emma, you should get on the board with this one. You know, oh, okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Dorina. Oh, Emma. Uh, uh, Rugrats. Damn Damn it. it. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, Dorina's on the board. Keep but talking, I did know that no, was Cody. Right. Thank the, you. Yeah, Thank you for yeah, trying. Keep that going, was that was keep watermelon, watermelon, yeah. watermelon, I'm watermelon. I'm saying a few words. Mm-hmm. Can you do that oh, when you're on that stage and you just say watermelon and it no. sounds like murmuring? Watermelon and bubblegum. Watermelon and bubblegum. Yeah, watermelon. Yeah, watermelon, watermelon. Is that Everyone too quiet? Like, know. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. Sorry. Oh, uh, fuck, Dorina. Hawaii Five O or whatever. That is correct. Oh, Dorina. Well done. Damn. Crushing it. That's two points. Yeah. It's three, two, two. Sorry, I'm uh, It's okay. I, <laughs> I'm also the youngest person at this table. <laughs> That's How true. old are you? I'll burn. 33. Oh, okay. Yeah. You bitch. I mean, love you. <laughs> All right. I can't really. This hear one's it. a little quiet. Sorry okay. about that. Josh! Oh, shit. Uh, step by step. Yeah. That is correct. Yep. Oh, oh, well done. Shit. Yeah. Farts. TGI. I knew Makuga was. Well, when they asked about playing this game, I was like, oh, Makuga needs to play this game. He'll be great. For sure. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Dorina! I don't Who know what was happened that? there. Well, I think we all know it. At the same it's, time, it's three, two, two, two. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, it's one of the greatest. <laughs> well, everybody just kind of... I think we all yeah. tied. Yeah. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just make it a, a The fact a that we all knew that in the second beat. Like yeah. yeah. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Josh. Emma. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Clarissa explains it all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Emma. Very nice. On the board. Yeah. Damn. Stand by. Mm, Almost we there, are guys. By. Everyone keep talking. It's, it's not like you. Josh. Oh, shit. Oh. Dun, dun. I, Riley. That's not fair. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hey. hey. Can we, give me five seconds. Five. five four, four. Three. Two. two, two one. one. Silver Spoons. Riley. Nope. No. Greatest American Hero. Yep. That is correct. Yeah. Damn, Boom. Such a good oh, song. Oh, shit. It yeah. is a very Believe good song. It or not. Is that four four? I got four for Josh, three for me, two for Dorina, one for Emma. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I got a point. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Josh. Riley. 
Oh shit! Succession. Yes. That's like that was in the 80s, right? I mean, no, it yeah. wasn't. No, no that doesn't no. count. That doesn't it doesn't count. count. That doesn't he's fucking mad, count. Doesn't. And he's obsessed with that. And you I gave it to him, you. Cody. And I think I beat you to the buzzer. Fine. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Take the point off. You're just in love with that show. I love That's that. Why so good. Yeah. Right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Right. Karina. Jesus. Mary with children. Yes, that's correct. All right, give her the point. Oh, right. Okay, four, three, three, two. Oh. Turn right. up. <laughs> I guess it says. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, that, that passed. Yeah, yeah, that passed. Passed. we got it. Okay. <laughs> Let's try a different one. <laughs> what a great choice, Cody. Dorina, Inspector oh. Gadget. Oh, wow. damn. Wow. That was good. All right, so Ooh. four, 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 three, two. <laughs> I'm so Stand nervous. Okay. There. Okay. Here, here we go. Shut up. Josh. Hey, dude. Holy cow. Holy Whoa. shit. Oh, what even is that? Oh. Oh. You son of a... Well done. Damn God it. Damn. I was making a hot that? comeback. Hey, dude. It was yeah. a Nickelodeon it show was. with yeah, uh, Ben Miller's wife. No, yeah, I never would have yeah. gotten yeah, that. Yeah, it was about people never. on a dude ranch. On a dude ranch, yeah. I remember it. That's... Uh, yeah. I, I probably so was it a cartoon or a show? Show, live show. Action. Oh, live it was. It came on the same time as uh, Salute Your Shorts. So yeah. it went, hey, dude, salute your shorts. In the oh, see, I was. More, I remember that. I didn't too. watch that much Nickelodeon except for the animated. Yeah. Like yeah. I watched like Mon- Mon- the Monsters cartoon. Oh yeah, all real monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Right. Let's do a couple more yeah. just to see what's sure, out there. Sure, sure, sure. Let's sure. Do yeah, it. let's Doug. do it. Dorina. Oh shit! It's nineties X Men. X Men. All right. So good. Yep. Dorina. Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a great DC. one. Yeah. All right. Little here Dawson's we go. Creek. Dorina. Oh, uh, I'm assuming it's either Tiny Toons or Animaniacs. You got to pick one. Damn it. Oh. Tiny Toons? No, it's Animaniacs. Damn it. It's Animaniacs. How do you know? <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. The Maniacs. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so good. Josh. Oh. Uh, ER. Yep. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Well done. Dude. Well, well that's, done. Yeah, that's a big one. That was a, that was a good That pull. was a Josh a good and Depp Kuga favorite. Okay, one more, that's Cody, and then we'll go to break. Stand by. I got a few mm-hmm. seconds here for it to load. Keep talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Conversation. Talk. You yeah. guys are friends. We're yeah. friends. I really like We're friends. Good. Good. Everyone stop talking. Josh. Right. Right. I think it was me. Was yeah, it was you. Yeah. Well done. Well done, folks. Well done. Great game. That was so fun. That was really fun. I love that, that game. Yeah. 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 That game's that's that solid. Is... So uh, when we come back after break, Ken Knapsack is going to join us. Yeah. Emma, thank you so much for joining oh, us Emma. today. We well, loved thank having you. For having you. Me on the show. I will say Please this. come back. Mm-hmm. This is going to be my last day on the show for the entire 2019. Yeah. And uh, I it had no idea. This, it's a real treat that I get to hang out with Emma Fife. Her first time on Collider Live. Yeah. I had no idea. And I will say this. In the history of being here on Collider, some of my favorite, favorite memories were me, David Griffin, and Emma Fife yeah. on Collider. Yeah. yeah. And she made yeah. That yeah. was really, really fun. Hell. You're the best. Yeah. Thanks, Emma Fife. By the way. You're the best, Josh McCougar. You're the best. Congrats to David Griffin. I know. I know. Congrats. Wow. Yay, Our boy got, got engaged. engaged. He so got congrats, engaged. David Griffin. He, I, well, I believe he will not be getting high at his own wedding because when he got high at my wedding, he disappeared in a vineyard for an hour and a half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's, my, you, that's my mother's last <laughs> wing. It'll get you. Maybe Sorry, you guys. do that at his wedding. <laughs> yeah. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. It well, happens. Thanks again, Emma. Uh, yes, we will be back me. shortly. Go to the bathroom, get some water. We will be back. Oh, it's a fucking dog at the thirty. God damn. Dead ass. Hey, Alex. Hey, Ben. Hey, Alex. Hey, Ben. You people are stupid! I'm fooling you, you don't like it! He's still working on his spoons, don't you? I want to catch-
hideous! And I want your ass. And I want your ass. And I want it now. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> and they're fucking me right now. And they're fucking me right now. And they're And they're And they're fucking me right now. <laughs> I love, I, I love seeing photos of fat kids. I love, I, I love seeing photos of fat kids. Welcome back to Collider Bloody Live. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Mr. Ken Naps Napsok. Yeah, hey. Kenny Napsok. Hey, Dorina Mr. Arianna. Como estas? Uh, thank, you, so, thank you so much for joining us. You too. Muy bien. Uh, ¿Por qué estás aqui? Uh, sí. <laughs> that's like that's you just all you said, got? It ends there. To me, I thought you just said, do you like a pork sandwich? And I was like, see. Mm, <laughs> so everything sandwich. sounds like food. Mm -hmm. I took two years of high school Spanish. My Spanish name was Ramon. <laughs> Ramon? Uh, was, it, was it like with the Spanish, like like from Spain? Is that what you're doing, the, the back of the throat thing? I don't know. Ramon? I don't know. My teacher Ramon? was, uh, I had two high school Spanish teachers, uh, Senora Fabiola mm -hmm. and Senora Cockshot. <laughs> <laughs> And what? that was her Cock name. Shot. Wait, wait, wait. Spelt as you would think. No. Yeah. She, like C-O-C-K-S-H-O-T. Yeah, Cock She should hang out with Mrs. Seaman, my teacher from fifth grade. That's my cousin's last name. No. Seaman, yeah. And literally spelled S-E-M-E-N. No, it's S I E M E N, okay. like the S E Y. Like the electricity comes yes. like Siemens. Yeah. Uh, there, his the grandfather's name is Dick Seaman. Oh it's no, it's not. He goes wow. by Dick. He does not go by Richard or Rich, Rick Richard or Rich. Seaman. I mean, come on. You gotta you gotta lean into Dick it Seaman. by then. That's amazing. Like, the one time I got drunk and asked him at like a family function, and he goes, "Well, kids back then weren't as cruel." And I was like, "Were they also stupid?" I mean, that's one reason I don't know Spanish too well because I spent the first year giggling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they said, uh, "Señora like, right, Cockshot," open up your books. I'm going to Señora Cockshot. <laughs> oh okay, well, man, poor so, woman. In fourth grade, you had to take uh, like one six-week period of Spanish, one six-week 
sixth period of German, one sixth period of French, and then you had to choose for the rest of your time in school. You had to take that language. Yeah. Right? yeah. And our Spanish teacher, like, you got there and like, give us your name. And I was like, I would like to be Julio. And she was like, well, Ben is already Julio. And I was like, Ben's name doesn't start with a J. He can be Benito. I am Julio. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. That is fair. Right? Yeah. I, I chose Ramon because there was like no. Ken, there's no Ken. Yeah. I'm gonna call yeah. you Ramon yeah. from now on. Ramon? Yeah, I've decided. Can but am I putting too much Ramon yeah. or Ramon? It's because you're doing it with like the G. <laughs> so, <laughs> un perro. Ramon. <laughs> un perro. Esfedad. <laughs> Esfedad. Okay. We'll work on it. Yeah, I'll teach you. Okay. Yeah, thank but you. Ken, is, yeah. this, is this your first? No, it's not your actual first time on Collider Live 2.0. Yeah, he's it popped in. Uh, he called. popped in, but this is your first time. We're actually gonna hang out with us yeah, for a few moments. For like yeah. a little yeah. bit. I, I think I was here. Of, yeah, I don't remember. I don't but, keep track of it. No, I know, but I'm very school, happy huh? you're here. I'm always happy when you join yeah. us, especially I mean, because uh, this is Josh's last episode of the year. Did we already yeah. say but, goodbye to him? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. but we, you know, he's That's but why I'm we saying miss you guys him. Didn't need to say goodbye. That's but we miss him. Person. He'll be back. No. But, but, uh, but Ken, yeah. really quick, you yeah. guys, you Emma and Ace, I just want to do a shout out. You guys are yeah. doing a fantastic job oh, on New Collider Jedi Council. Which when can people watch that? Uh, in in the evening time, still about five p.m. local. Mm-hmm. Well, eventually, we're gonna get to to it live. Uh, but I, I love doing things live. I mean, I, everything I do is live to tape. My whole life is not prepared. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think we just wanted to get our rhythm down, and then there'll be guests on the show. A lot of those kind of things. It's just uh, yeah. Um, I'm happy to. I feel like Chris Jericho and AEW wrestling talk. Just the veteran working with the next generation, helping to put them over before I powder out. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, it's been a lot of fun. No, oh, fair enough. Yeah. Mark- that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, I wanted to say that we actually have two people from my favorite podcast oh. together. Yeah, yeah Karen with Josh and Ken. Kill here. No. And... <laughs> David W. Collins from the Soundtrack yeah. Show. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's I, my favorite. I, I thought it was actually uh, uh, Ken and Amanda McCougan. Not well, not yeah, Josh, I mean, now so, that Josh you know, is yeah, here and true. back, mm-hmm. we have mm-hmm. to. I mean, this is like. Oh my God, guys! I'm like huge <laughs> fans. Like, how are you? We had What's a great, going on? We had a great episode that's releasing tomorrow. Yeah. That was uh, Amanda on the show with Josh, and it got uh, it got I wouldn't say heated. It no, got no, fun. It got very fun. Oh come yeah, on! Yeah, it got yeah, heated. For yeah. What did you guys? So whenever Amanda and Josh get together, it's like it that's my favorite thing about the podcast is when she would call and just give him the business, yeah. what, and it was perfect. Yeah. What it's does she Josh get most annoyed at, at you about? Farting. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Come on. Farting, Why are they? Do they smell? Are they loud? Like what's? I'm the actually point? not a very smelly farter. He's just I mean, very I'm passionate like, about it. Okay. <laughs> you use barking <laughs> spiders, right? Yeah, barking. Yeah, because I pulled yeah. that one out the other night when yeah. Julie went. What? What? The, what was that? And I go, I don't know. Barking spider. It's gotta be. Yeah. It's a rain. It's, it's just a, weird. It's, it's an affliction. It's the rain. It's the rain California. brings the barking spiders. You know how it is. Yeah. What about farting and drinking mostly? Farting and drinking. Definitely. What about you? What do you get annoyed at Amanda for? Um, pillows and texting. Like two. Many no. pillows on the oh, bed. God. Too many That's pillows a... on the bed and the couch. In our life. I our do hate life that. Pillows. Why do people do that? I don't like That's like twenty pillows on a bed. No, no, no. But my mom loves that. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to uh, put it into a gender category. Uh, right. I, don't, I don't think. Well, that's, I don't like it. So I know, and you're you're bucking that that category. But yeah. that seems to be a common thread. Like Grace, Grace loves well, pillows. Yes. She does too. And, she, does she get annoyed at your farts? Uh, don't do that. Mm. You don't no. fart? Are you like no, Roxy that not, you don't fart? No, not I haven't uh, uh, done that in front of a, a human uh, female in 12 years. Yeah. How do you hold Funny. it in? There's some tactics. Can you show me? Can you teach? In all our episodes of the afternoons, I've never asked you personally if you farted. And I'm now learning something new about you, Ken. Because let's of... be honest, I farted in, in front of Grace more times than you have. Well, yeah, that one. By have you ever told that story? Oh, on that air? is a great uh, story. Air, yeah, yeah. Lighter, That's... lighter rider room. Because mm-hmm. back in the day when when I was employed here, uh, we were all three in an office. But there was one office we were out in another, literally another building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you had to go outside pouring rain, uh, 110 degree heat. You had right, to go outside. Right. So in there, it was kind of our little cave. And uh, the rest of the piece, the legendary cow dog was always. He's there oh, yeah, with us. Yeah. And um, one day, Grace came by to just chat with us. I don't even think Grace and I were dating yet. No, I was on, I, yeah. I used to sit on an Xer ball. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, I don't know why I stopped doing that. I think it was mostly because like, my knees started hurting, whatever. Yeah. And then it, we had it this... helps your back. 
Broke your knees. Broke my knees. Yeah, yeah. it's always a give and a take. Yeah. You can't yeah. have it yeah. all. Yeah. And so there was this little couch in the writer's room, too. And Grace came over to chat with us. And, like, you know, Ken, uh, Mark, and I would just be sitting there, like, shooting ideas and then be writing sketches or whatever we were doing. And so I was, like, over there writing. I had my headphones on. Couldn't and, like, we were <laughs> we were in the office together. So we would just rip farts all the time. like, Or at least I would. I would rip farts all the time. And I'd be like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah you So would, Grace, so I got sorry. my headphones on. And I'm on the thing. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> and Grace, Grace lost it. Yeah. Lost it. She was just like, ah, ah. I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I forgot you were here. It's so embarrassing. She's like, I don't care. And now I know that Ken hasn't farted in front of a human in 12 years. No, but yeah, a human female. A human, yeah, female. Yeah, human female. Man, yeah. I want to yeah. get you to fart in front of me now. Okay. Because, like, Good what are your that. tactics, though? I want to know this. Because sometimes, like, a lot I- of trips to the storage shed. <laughs> I think I left something out of the shed. It's two in the morning. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I left a bathrobe out there. Oh. But, but what do you do if you're... I'm going to go for a drive for the next six I'll days. I'll tell you, I invest What if you do if you're like in, in an elevator with a woman? Uh, that happened to me once. Uh-huh. This is why never, never do that in an elevator. Never. I was in an elevator when I was a security director at the uh, back at the farmer's market yeah. Grove. I think I know the story. And there was a sh- small elevator, like a three-story elevator. And I, you know, got in, wasn't thinking... Something happened, Sorry. and it was one of the ones that was so thick it came out with voting rights. It was, just like, <laughs> it was so just like it, it came out. It came out was like good day, sir. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> sir. Fifth floor, ladies' yeah. lingerie. It was a clear glass, clear gas with a color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like what, like ghost hunters are like. We got something. <laughs> um, the one like, guy faints. I have to go from the first to the third floor, and <laughs> ding stops on the second floor, and I was like, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> and these two no. girls from a company called the Ant Farm, they edit trailers and stuff. Rachel Cushing actually used to work there uh, at yeah, the same time. Right. I didn't didn't meet Rachel until later. They haven't walked, farted in front of her. Yeah, yeah. they walked. Walked in and it's like, what are you gonna do? Like, I just was like, hey, <laughs> and like the walls oh, are coming, no. like it's a Stephen King novel. Yeah. <laughs> it's like things, blood's oh. coming in. They just were like, and it got to the third floor, and I was like, gotta go. And like, <laughs> ran out. But did now did they hear it? Did no, they, they didn't hear it. it. They just they walked, just walked in, in and were literally it. slapped mm. in the face it, 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 by yeah. like it was the Rock fighting yeah. Steve Austin. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. that happens. So uh, that was my lesson. Never do that in an elevator. Hold well, it in. Yes. You know, I, I just invest, don't know how to hold it I invest, sometimes. I invest in a lot of uh, pills, okay. uh, a lot of digestive Cassocks. pills, uh, psyllium husks. So yeah. you kind of, the morning starts great. Fresh. Yeah. yeah. You you drop a lot of bombs over Munich and you're, you're clear to <laughs> land in England. <laughs> Dresden and, had no chance. <laughs> and, uh, Co- Cody, you're missing out on the, on the fart sound bites yeah. here. I felt I would overdo it. <laughs> <laughs> I only have oh, three. You, oh, but it's okay when I talk about Batman Returns. Yeah, yeah you know. Uh-huh. So, anyway, <laughs> I didn't. I I I used to never come on the show when it was a party in the Fart Tower for a reason. Now I've turned it into one. So yeah, oh, yeah. it just yeah. kind of went there. Yeah. I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, Dorina asked, and I gave yeah, her the no, question. I'm, look, I I just want to really know. I want to yeah. educate myself. <laughs> yeah. That was, I mean, that was pretty much it. That's it. That was yeah. kind of a sound recording of the incident. Yeah. 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 Anyway. So it, it, and it, now is Grace ever going to make an appearance on the afternoons? Uh, she was on an early episode. She wants. Yeah. To, uh, we're getting her back. Uh, her and Alicia are probably going to come on at one point. I think her and Amanda could team up on me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Because I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to be on an episode. I'm probably until like, yeah, February. This guy. He is. Uh, you know his his show, which no one re- knows yet. Uh, mm-hmm. Is uh, he goes to uh, Gallup, New Mexico, and makes meth. And yeah. It's a contest <laughs> to see who does it faster. It's basically. Is it called breaking? Is it Is it called Breaking Ben? <laughs> breaking Ben. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, mm. So yeah, no, and, and and hopefully she can come back here too. You know, she yeah, she's great. I, yeah, we got it. No, we got to get yeah. them back I on for sure. I don't know Amanda as well. Like she's cool, but I've never yeah. hung out with her. But like Grace, mm. I have hung out with her. Grace yeah. is like one of my favorite witches. She's, yeah. she's a great Thank, witch. She's the coolest. You're, you're witchy. You all witchies. Uh, you, uh, her, uh, Torlin, uh, Joe Star's wife. Yeah. Uh, another, uh, another witch you would out in the open. Witch. You would probably like Amanda's sister more than Amanda because Amanda's sister <laughs> is a witch. She, oh really? Well, she was Cruella de Vil at Disney for like three years. No way. And she was also Malfeasant there as well. Malfeasant? Yeah. Malfeasant? Malfeasant. 
the Ma- Maleficent? The Maleficent? Maleficent. Maleficent right. is what you get when the thing with the doctor's like, it's on your nose. It's Maleficent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're Did removing really it and say testing that on purpose, it. Or is Maleficent. that just how you say it? It's, You've been saying that for Mal- a long it's, time. It's a hard word. Like, there's just like, I can't say Rick Fumiyama, Fuyama's name. Right. Fama Yua. Fama Fama Yua. Yua. Can, yeah. it's, can you, you say know. Malefica? Maleficent? Maleficent. Maleficent. Maleficent is Maleficent in, in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's about that. Yeah. yeah. But her sister yeah. loves Halloween. Like she puts up. They have one of their. The, like the front of their house is one giant spider web with a huge spider on it. I stopped going to their house after the first year of Amanda and I dating. I was like, I don't like it. Which here. sister <laughs> is this? Hannah. That Hannah. sounds Hannah. awesome. Yeah, Hannah's a witch. Hannah's. And her, is... Hannah and her husband met. Uh, he was Tarzan and she was Cruella Deville. And they met at Disney. Gotcha. Oh, dude, did you guys have you guys heard about that? I have friends that worked at Disneyland and yeah. that uh, they said that it was kind of clicky. Like when they would go to like the the yeah. backstage cafeteria, and then you would have like the princesses sitting around mm-hmm. the same uh, yeah. area, and then you had the animals in another area. Right. It's so, like that's that sounds like high school. It does. Sure. Well, but li- but yeah. that's I I life is high school. True. Yeah. I always say that people always like, my old employees is going to be like I'm fighting with the other guy, and it's like life is so high school or high it's so high school. I'm like no, high school is life in four years. Yeah. And it never gets better. It's, it's always because we're way. all animals in a zoo. Yeah. It exactly Truly. is. And yeah. It's yeah. like. Yeah. To put everything it, in its place to figure it out. Yeah, I it guess. it's just a big social experiment that is everything. That's why even politics and uh, uh, yep. locker rooms and professional things, it's all it's 100%. all high school. I mean, then we do fart, so there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, tie it I mean, all I will together. Say this, with that. Like the first time, and I told it on the afternoon, it's the first time I farted around Amanda. I like looked at on? her and she was like, On? No, around her. You said on. <laughs> Did I, I just want to clarify. Her? Yeah, we don't do that. That's not. No, Have you not do done that. that by accident? Yeah. No. Were you farted on someone? No. Uh, well, like, I mean, I would always fart on my brother. Okay. Well, yeah, but that's I mean, different. That's not, given if, if not you, with somebody you want to sleep with. If you've no, met no, no. Ben, you just, <laughs> just assume. Yeah. You just yeah. fart. Uh, Cody, really quick, can we open up the phone lines, please? You got it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Callers, be prepared. <laughs> Talk about this. Be prepared. Especially. Am I on? <laughs> You're on. Am I on? <laughs> You're on. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Ken. Oh, man. Listen to Ken, Just please. What you were say. Oh, no, I can't follow that. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Thank, thank, thank you for that, Ken, I'm though. Gr- that's I'm, that's appreciated. Because I'm grumpy. I'm David Harbour Light, and yeah. this is what I love. I love that new Black. I don't. I hate talking movies. Um, uh, that new Black Widow, Widow trailer is the first MC mo- movie I'm excited since Winter Soldier. How come? Really? Because it's no David it, Harbour. There's no superhero shit. Yeah. It's yeah. no super. It's like Winter Soldier, which yes, is like Winter Soldier exactly. is my like, favorite one. It's same a, here. It's, yeah. it's three days of the Condor. Yeah. It's uh, it's not really. Yeah. Um, but it's a political movie. But that that Black Widow one, and then David Harbor. Come yeah. on, David Harbor's like life goals. He's only Pugh? like two weeks older than me. But um, so Florence Pugh. It's great. She's pew, great. Pew, pew. Scarlett Johansson. Florence Pugh. She's great. Uh, pew, just pew. ask Woody Allen. But I mean, David <laughs> Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> with his shirt off, just like. Oh, the beard, oh, like, oh wait a minute! You gotta drop that. David Harbour. Oh, a. Speaking of, uh, you are on Collider Live. Where are you calling from? Who are you? Hey, it's Parker again. Hey, Parker. Hey, hey Parker. How's it going? You got Ken, Josh, Cody, Mark? What's going on? I'm good. I'm, I'm happy I could get in again this week. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What do you want to talk about, dude? So, I'm going to get a little deep with you guys. I'm going to say something funny, and then I'm going to go a little deep with you guys. <laughs> Ooh, all so, right. Oh, shit. If it's funny, <laughs> Parker, don't 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 lead off hot here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's not, <laughs> you're done, Zell. <laughs> all right. Give me, give me a chance. Move got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. All right. So uh, this weekend, I have to go to New York for my first funeral. Okay. Oh. No. Yeah. No, no, don't worry. Is that the funny <laughs> one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. So uh, first thing is, you guys ever see that video of a uh, this Irish guy's funeral and he was playing like a recording? Yeah. And it was sounded like he was in the coffin. Mm-hmm. Did you guys see this? Genius. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, they, he he put a like a recording in the coffin and they're all standing around and he's like, "Hello, hey, let me out, <laughs> oh, hey!" Yeah. And everybody's like laughing, going, "Yeah, that's whoever it was right. had a sense okay. of that's Makuga. That's yep. pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Of, of I them. want people to do karaoke at my funeral. Don't. Yeah, is Parker still there? Don't you forget oh, yeah. about so that, me? Yeah. That's actually kind of that's actually kind of my second question. Um, mm-hmm. All you guys, especially you, Darina, Queen of Pep, what do you guys? How do you want people to handle you when you go? Ah, good question, ah, Parker. Thank you for the really question, and, and sorry about oh, the yeah, fact that you have to go to a funeral. Yeah. 
Uh, we're all going to dive can be in. Fun. I'm telling uh, you, we yeah. just got to enjoy life while you can. So, yeah. so God bless you and your family. Thank you for calling. What do you, What do you guys think? Like, have you guys thought of that? Oh, yeah. How you would like to be? Like, you so, you prepared your funeral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a few years back, um, this guy in Pittsburgh, he his funeral was at his house, and he had the, his like wife or his family sit him up in his recliner. On the TV was Steelers highlights. Uh, next to him was a six pack of Iron City, the beer that he always drank during the games, and the, next to him was a pack of cigarettes, and they put a cigarette in his hand. Jesus. And they just kept like refreshing the cigarette. Like he wanted a cigarette lit, during, and people came in and paid their respect at his home. So I thought to myself, first of all, it's pretty crazy, but very Pittsburgh. Uh, I mean, you don't yeah, think of anything. I've never so, been there, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Josh is from there? I've heard that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's Ian Happ of the Chicago Cubs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so my, I want to do, uh, I want to lay, you know, a few thousand dollars out and open a bar tab at Barney's Beanery, mm. and then I'll have my coffin in there or my urn. I'm going to get cremated. I don't think, yeah. it, burn, you know, put my urn, and it's going to be. And, you know, like a bottle of Jack Daniels or something funny like that, you know, or like a, you know, like some kind of a vase that Amanda bought that I made fun of her about. And then she can, cause I'm definitely going before Amanda. We all know that. And, um, and, uh, people can come pay their respects, do some karaoke, drink for free on me one last time at Barney's. I like that. Yeah, that. That's, yeah, that's a that's very good. appropriate yeah. uh, going away for yeah, you. Right. I yeah. want people to celebrate. I want people to be crying. I want Same. people to be like, remember when Makuga farted yeah. <laughs> every day, all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Ken, you got one? I, I Look, I'm, I'm in an interesting part in life where I actually have someone who loves me and a family that cares. I didn't think that would be the case. Right. So I always thought I'd uh, die alone in some apartment, <laughs> and they'd find me, and I'd be in a coffee can burnt a couple weeks later, <laughs> and someone would have to come claim it down at a lost and found. So <laughs> Big, I, Lip, Big Lebowski style. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I also remember I told the story on your old yeah. show that's uh, scrubbed from existence for good reason. Uh, <laughs> like, I, like, my, my best friend is always like, look, don't worry, man. You're going to come live in my garage when you get older and and, and and uh, I always figured him or his like his daughter when she grew up and, and, and got married or something that they'd walk in and be like, Uncle Ken's been dead on the floor watching Jeopardy for three days. Like, <laughs> I just figured that's the way I'm going to go. Uh, so now I have people that care. So maybe, uh, I don't know, my old radio partner always wanted to do a thing where the coffin would prop open and his body would come up and he'd be like, yes. <laughs> and go down. That's so a good one. That. Like a, like a, 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 a Chuck E. Cheese yeah. robot. Like, yeah. I've actually always wanted to be, uh, I want to be taxidermied. Oh, and yeah. I just want to be put on, like, on stage. Yeah, Just standing there and I'm all dead. And then everybody yeah. has to dance naked to good to ha- good and happy music. Everyone's drunk, naked, partying. Man. I don't want anybody to cry. I just want people to like be happy and dance and celebrate. And yeah. then if you guys want to do a seance and call me back, that would be cool. Okay. And yeah. as like your acquaintance, would I get invited to this funeral? Of course. Okay. Okay. You're not my acquaintance. It's anymore, not like Josh. it's, not, oh, it's not like it's a Aren't we? panel in Emerald City Comic Con. <laughs> 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 Burn. Yeah, I'll just sit in my uh, my hotel room That's without Ken we... and eat an apple alone. That's when we were acquaintances. That's but then we became friends that weekend because uh-huh. you gave me pizza. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. True. Great That's pizza. Yeah. Mark? No, I don't know. How you want to go? I, I, I'm you trying to like think about, about it. it. Yeah, I have my I have my issues with uh, thinking about death, so uh, I haven't okay. gone that far. But if I'm yeah. if I'm playing th- to Roxy's point, you got to play the game when you're exactly. in the room. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm with you, Makuga. Uh, I think I want to be cremated. Yeah. And why don't you guys just take me around in my urn uh, for one last wine tasting? Go oh, to wine yeah. country. Oh, that's that's have that's fun. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Good. Make sure you just put me on the on the on there so I can smell the wine mm-hmm. yeah. because it's it's you know it's delicious. So uh, should we spell wine. your ashes a little bit on the vineyard? And then every vineyard you go to, you you leave a little bit of me there and uh, and then we're off and running. We're talking about like the Santa Barbara? We're talking about Napa? You know what? I think think maybe Napa, Paso Robles would be good. Temecula? uh, (laughs) Not not Temecula, (laughs) but uh, Paso Robles is great. Uh, Cambria. Finish finish out your day at Cambria on uh, Moonstone Beach and just put the rest of the ashes out there. There's a Chili's on the way up in the 101. There is. You gotta gotta pay, you gotta pour one out for me on that. I'll do that as I eat my mozzarella sticks. Cody, what you got? There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, my boy blue. Does it scare you? I uh, haven't really thought about death much. You look into the yeah. great well, void. Just I just hope everyone has a, a good time. Yeah. Um, we're all on this everything, everything cool. hurdling yeah. piece I want to of good, space good, rock. You're, you're my boy, Cody. You're my boy. No, but seriously, do you... Is that, is that really all you want? About it. Uh, I want people to have a good time. I don't want people crying. I want to. Yeah. Like, I mean, we're I'm all going to cry when we all die, but we want to... Dance and celebrate more yeah. so than crying. Let's just play Third Eye Blind and just have do, a good time. Do, 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 yeah. do, there we go. Do, do. There we go. Okay, that what's that song about? Heroin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> <laughs>
I t- early, did you see me earlier in the show? Do you hear what I said? No, no. I, I called. I, well, Ken's the song ruiner. He's like, you know what song I love? Mighty Mighty Boston. Ken's like, that's because people were dying of AIDS. And I was like, oh, great. Cool. Which, by the way, there's a lot of messed up Beatles songs. Yeah, like, run, like run for your life, little girl. Yeah, that's yeah. like run for your life, little girl. Is, like, I think I know what that one's about. But yeah, <laughs> not, that's, not knock on wood. By I, Mighty Mighty I find Boston. myself sing along like Lennon was high, played the guitar high. Because it's a happy yeah. song. You gotta run for your life if you can, mm-hmm. little girl. Run for your life. Yeah, it's, it's you know. super messed up. Yeah, so anyways, well, oh, Lennon, Lennon. Oh, looks we like we got call. another call Lennon, there. Lennon's you, controversial at times. Definitely. You are on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, it's Saul. I'm calling from an LAX to Hollywood shuttle bus in Culver City. Oh, oh my what? God, Saul. LAX. Saul. You did it, man. LAX did you what did are it. you doing here? Yeah. What do you, what, you know, I'm just chilling like I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I am in town for the uh, the movie trivia schmodown spectacular ah, on yeah. Saturday. Yeah, we there will. it is. Some of us will see you there. Some How's it going, Saul? What do you got for us today? Roxy's night, and I'm surprised you called. Oh, I know. Your crush is oh, so that's deep. Very, that's very cute of you, Darina. That's adorable. Don't you um, call me that's cute. That's actually one of the things I wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, shit. Here we go. What the hell are you guys up to over there? What do you mean? I was just doing a show. What are we doing? What, just doing it. What? what what are, doing the thing. What is, what is doing the th- doing the things on the YouTube's? <laughs> All right, you guys really think I have a crush on Rox? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we're you. Uh, we <laughs> think we think you're obsessed with her. Yes. You think I'm obsessed with her? Yes. What, what, where is this coming? Where is this coming from? Do you watch all her live streams? I don't watch all her live. But streams. you watch a I lot of them. I go in there. Well, first of all, a lot of her fans. Like when I go in there, they they interact with me. They seem to appreciate me coming in there and busting her chops a little bit. Sounds... So I thought it'd be fun to go in there and mix it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm obsessed with her. Okay. And how how creepy further... do you think you are about her though? Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's the real question. Ooh. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I missed that. What was that? So so how creepy on a level of like creep level? Like, are you, do you feel like you're a little creepy with her, or, or a lot, or not at all? I'm not. A zero point zero. I don't think I'm creeping at all. How creepy do you think she is with me? Not at all. She just doesn't zero. understand why you give her so much shit. Yeah. Mm. Because it's, it's a total because playground she... love affair. Here, exactly. Saul. Yeah, that's where we're I mean, going. If, Saul. if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, you know, give you a full diagnosis via the Josh McCuga School of Playground Therapy, clearly you have a thing for Roxy, and the breaking of the balls thing is like, oh, I'm being funny, da da da. Meanwhile, you know, you hope that you're you're playing your cards right. You're planting a seed, and eventually, the Saul Roxy, the Soxy, the Roxy, whatever we're calling it, Soxy. is uh, is Soxy. You yeah. know, is in it's in the future. We're not stupid. We see it. It's not. There's nothing wrong with it. It's your nothing you're, to be ashamed about. Roxy. Yeah. She's great. Yeah, hot. a bearded man with a, a great New York accent, and she's a Boston girl with no beard. And together, <laughs> you guys can have semi ginger kids. We get it. <laughs> semi ginger, ginger, ginger kind of Okay, first of all, she she doesn't even hug. How do I work with that? Hypothetically. Yeah. Oh, well, so you're so so you're actually uh, accepting this then? We finally, got, we got to the no, point. Did, did Josh get through a, to you? I'm, I'm, I'm at, I'm actively rejecting this, but I was just bringing it up for the sake of conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Well, you'll have your chance but, uh, to, okay. on uh, Saturday there, Saul, to really get uh, you know some one-on-one, some really good FaceTime with Roxy, perhaps backstage. Uh, <laughs> you know, There's some really lovely restaurants here in Los Angeles. Don't get her cheese, this oh, we know. Yeah. And make sure you take her to some place that she knows how to get away from just so that she feels a little comfortable, meaning some place within walking distance of her home. <laughs> And right. make sure you please uh, send us your location in case we need to, you know, save her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like a good enough dude, Saul. Saul, you, wa- you I, walked into a firing range. Yeah. We're sorry about that, buddy. No, but I, I, I sure did. <laughs> and, and by the way, before I get hung up on, I just want to say, um, Ken Napsack, I loved your book. I pre-ordered it, and uh, yeah, you and man. I, she, I, I actually, I was, I'm curious. I think I might love Solo even more than you. Oh, that's great. Oh, with my Star Wars fan. Nice. Damn. That's great. Thank you, sir. Sal, 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 yeah. Sal. I, I'm familiar with you a little Saul. bit. I, uh, I enjoy your calls and your beard. Uh, for a second, I thought you were that super chat robot everyone talks about, but um, <laughs> I, uh, I really appreciate that. And when I see you on Saturday, let's talk Solo. Mm, nice. I would absolutely love to. And um, oh, by the way, uh, oh, never mind. I'm gonna let you go. I, oh, I'm sorry. I can hardly hear. I got I got the bus air conditioner in my head. Plus, <laughs> and, and all right. Look, by the way, Ro- 
this is I, I have a feeling that this is this is going to be addressed again the yeah. previous topic but mm-hmm. I love you guys love and, you uh, we love you too love you Saul I'm bummed I can't meet you on Saturday have fun we, lo- we love you Saul I'll give you a hug on Saturday see you Saturday Later. dude thank you okay well, uh, we looks like we time that, I think yeah, yeah I think so yeah. we, we got time for one more call and then we yeah. gotta get out of here uh, you are on Collider Live what's your name where are you calling from holy shit I made it in my name is uh, my name is G calling from you guys backyard <laughs> Glendale, California. Hey, nice. G from Glendale. What did you got for us G, today? do you do you go to Damon's uh, Steakhouse in Glendale? I don't. Oh, well, a- all right. I mean, you're not 50 yet, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> get there and try it. Damon's is great. I it's, love Damon's. It's my secret little. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. But you it's ruined my it. Little Glendale Jeez. secret. Yeah. Diamond. No. Damon's. 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 Right, Damon's. And I'll keep it. I'll yeah. keep it. Thank you, G. G, you got a question for us today? Um, so kind of going off of the karaoke thing yes. and a little bit of the, the, uh, conversation about hip hop a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. I know Roxy's not in, but Eminem is not top two rappers <laughs> of all time. Agreed. I, I'd agree. He, um, and I would say Roka has the best, uh, hip hop taste out of everyone there, at least from what I've heard. Gee, how old are you? But, if you don't mind me asking? I am. I'm actually young. I'm 23. Okay. Yeah. So who would be like in if your was, top two, like maybe three? I'll just give you three. Who's in your top three? I, three is Jay Z's the greatest rapper of all time. Okay. Also happy, happy belated birthday, Jay Z, Biggie, okay. and a very obscure underground cat, uh, MF Doom. MF Doom, never heard of him, but I like your first two. Big fan. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You should listen to Doom. Okay. Um, and uh, about, I'm trying to think. I'm really karaoke. Like, you said karaoke. I actually got it. Karaoke. Yes. Um, loved all your karaoke choices. As big as like a thugged out hip hop kid that I am, uh, my opener and like kind of signature song, and all my friends know this, is uh, part of your world from The Little Mermaid. No. no. <laughs> Look at you. It's not I, bad. You I did not see right that into it. I, I love it. That. I murder that. Dig it. Um, and yeah. Uh, also, Josh, you're yeah. saying you're the best. Come on, man. I'm. If you don't know, Filipinos, karaoke is a sport with us, bro. Oh, let's go. So I, will go. I will go toe-to-toe with you, hands down. Hey, listen, I, I, I don't doubt it because the Journey found a Filipino man doing Journey karaoke, and now he's the lead singer that of the is, band. That is I, correct. Leave, leave no doubt. And Alex Marzonia, one of the more talented musicians I've ever met, also a yeah. Filipino man. Shout so out, Alex. Ha- happy to Happy to Filipino karaoke anytime. That's nice. Right. Uh, yeah. Thank you for Bye. the call, G. G, thanks, Thank buddy. Thank you, G. Oh, cool. Check out uh, D- Damon's. Is that what you said? Damon's. Oh, okay. They still yeah. do the onion loaf? Uh, maybe. And they get those chichis. Oh, the drinks chichis. that they serve. You know chichis so in Spanish is boobs. Yeah, I know. And there's an entire pizza chain called chichis. There used to be really? an entire Mexican yeah. restaurant chain in Pittsburgh called chichis. And then they got like a health violation. Aww. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, I sad. mean, yeah. Well, on that note, we got to go, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for joining us today. Mark Riley. Thank you. Ken Napsok. Watch Jedi Council yeah. later today. Josh McCuga will be back next Missy year. Joshy. We love you. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Cody Hall in the booth, as always. Daddy Cody. We will be back tomorrow with Aaron Taylor Johnson and Sam Taylor Johnson and Roxy Stryer. Love you guys. Later. Daddy!